people, if you ever get jumped, bro, you got to grab one guy and beat him up so bad that they all stop. Let me get naked. What? <laughs> you, you gonna, they won't want to touch me no more. <laughs> what, you going to strip? That's your yeah. first. Wait, how are you going to do that? Well, they beat my ass. I simply just undress myself. What are they going to do? <laughs> would you Would you continue to jump somebody that was getting naked? No. Exactly. But like, Chilling. Why is that your first instinct? You're desperate. <laughs> I don't want to get beat up anymore. <laughs> and then anybody in the area would be like, oh my God, they're trying to f*** them. And then I'll, I'll get helped. <laughs> I'll be helped. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Yo, 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 welcome back to another episode of No Records Podcast, episode number 72, and I'm your host, DW, aka Darius. I got my brother with me, JR, you know what I'm saying? Say what's good to the fellas. You're what's good, guys. And we got another episode, what happened? I didn't put my phone on Do Not Disturb, but I could do it through my laptop. Technology. I know, right? Technology's future. going up day by day, bro. We Technically, do you think we're in the future, technically? Like, is it as what people in the past say the future is i would think so because i'm not gonna lie we were talking about teslas the other day yeah and how niggas are reading books and do whatever they want while the tesla's driving itself yeah low-key like i would have never pictured that Big in my ass. life that shit bro i actually i really want a tesla bro i really do too i heard tesla's making like doll like uh pets hmm? like i seen like a little <laughs> army of like tesla pets like tesla dogs what's the point of that i don't know they want to be like the Jetsons so bad bro <laughs> like I, I swear to god i do not be, nah there's no way I don't care how far into the future we're. I'm not buying no robotic dog, bro. No, that sounds nuts. But I do think we're probably in that stage, or we're like getting to that stage. Especially you, I watched the me and Jay watched this movie. You know the that that Megan movie that just came out. I've seen it. Yeah. Yeah. D- did you actually watch it? No, I've just seen it. So it was. It's like about the little um. You know, it's like a doll, but like the do- I didn't know. I just knew from like the the trailers. It was just like a doll that has like um. You know, it could it got it could think. Well, like sentience. Yeah, something like that. But like, what I didn't know is like it pairs with the kid. So like, once the kid, once you the kid touches it, it like learns everything with the kid. Like it's like a like a human, so it learns more things throughout the day. And that's when that that's why that shit started going crazy because she started like figuring it out shit. Oh. She started. Remember when you were saying she started asking like, oh, what is what is death? Yeah. And she was like, no, nah, you don't gotta worry about that shit. She's like, she started. That's when she started yeah. working niggas. If we ever get to that point, bro, I'm not. I'm like, yeah, if AI is getting sentience, I mean, I don't want to live. I'm beyond for fucked. I'm not gonna be in that so shit. Fun. But before we get into that, follow everything. Follow our socials down below. We're not gonna get too crazy. I almost forgot about all that stuff. Follow all the channels. Follow us on YouTube. All the podcasting platforms. All that shit. All the socials will be down in the description. My boy, Jason, shit is gonna be in the description. All his Twitch stuff too. He's on Twitch now. People, let him know. Whoa, if you're yeah. coming from the podcast, join his Twitch streams every day. Is it every day? I try to yeah. try to every day, same yeah. time every day. Yeah, pretty much around right. three to four. Let them let them know you the one of no regulars members. You know what I'm saying? Follow that shit. You know what I'm saying? But we got some. We actually got some cookies today. Crumble <laughs> cookies to all the people that was hating on us, saying that it's weird. Give I don't give a fuck. Y'all could just what? skip this give part. Give me a second. Now fuck that. <laughs> you guys, you guys don't move. Don't mess with my soul. You about the guys stumbled. Um, hold up. You about really, the name drop? Yeah, I'm about the name drop. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. <laughs> Yo, nah, see what name drop here. is funny as hell. Hope I don't drop these shit. Yeah, we we done. Where are we at? Where are we at? We Hold done on. upgraded niggas. Where the fuck is it? This nah, shit. Did you delete the comments? Nah, I did. It's somewhere. It's under yours, though. These shits was $20 for four cookies. Each cookie is five beans. But these shits look delicious, though. Well, I'm going to give you a piece of everything. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Let's talk right here. Name Grounded drop. in sunshine. Go fuck yourself. I'm going <laughs> to eat the cookie and you're not and you're hungry as shit. Yeah, name drop all them motherfuckers. I'm oh, not- Gigi, new listener too. Cannot lie. Had to skip this shit. Cannot lie. You're fat as fuck and you're hungry. Shut up, <laughs> bitch. Let them know, bro. My Let them know. Hey, fuck it, bro. They just be hating. Like, why, like, why couldn't you just skip it the first time? Niggas are weird. Niggas had to let us know. Said, oh, not gonna lie, mid. All right. That's what I'm saying. Like, mad as shit, you're hungry. That's what I'm Fuck saying. Boy. But now we got cookies. Now we got crumble cookies. That's fine. Y'all can't afford crumble cookies. That's facts. No, I'm saying. What was it? These. <laughs> yeah, no. These, these cookie cookies. was nuts. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> we done upgrade from that shit. I'm trying to get you a piece with this fucking. I don't even know this raspberry shit. <clears throat> you just moaning in my ear. No. <laughs> I was like, what is that? Um, is this one of those places that has like the assorted ones for the week or whatever? Yeah, bro. It's that place. Okay. Make sure I don't drop this bitch. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, 
Here you go, my brother. Thank you. I appreciate it. So we're going to try each one. And see, and what, as we what try. What are we talking here? So what? I got, we have Oreo, honey bun, chocolate chip, and then we have this raspberry donut. So we'll try the chocolate chip one first. You know which one's the chocolate chip? I'm assuming it's this one. Yeah, it's that one. All right. So as we go, we're going to talk about some shit because I got a lot of shit to talk about mm-hmm. this week. This is not bad, though. I mean, I like caramel cookies, milk chocolate chip cookies. It's a lot better than these. Nah, these. <laughs> <laughs> these was ass, but this is good. Mm. I don't know. Everybody be hating on they cook they um chocolate chip cookies, but I pretty, I like it. No, so bad. I actually mm-hmm. like it. Mm-hmm. But what else we gotta talk about this week as we eat these cookies? Oh, like remember? All right, so you know how we was talking about like the future and shit, right? Mm-hmm. I heard that you could there's a you can now pick your gender for your child. How's that work? Like, I have no idea how it works, but there was somebody on, who's that big dude that be on, like, has, like, a podcast with, like, the Nelk Boys? He's, like, Bradley Martin? Is that what his name is? You never heard that guy? Like, the, it's some big Aki dude that be on TikTok all the time? Nah. He be with, like, Aiden Ross and shit? You boy? Hmm? No, nah, he's boy? a white guy, yeah. No, nah, I have no idea. So, so he, he, there was a guy on a podcast with him, and I guess that they're able to, like, customize, like, children. Like, they get, like... They get um the sperm from the male, and then they get the egg, and then they can, like, add genetics to it so you can, like, make them, like, a specific height, specific weight, specific, like, how they want them to look, and then, like, how... They can even make the personalities. Nigga, are we playing The Sims? Bro, I don't like, know, what are we bro. on about, bro? Are we... I have no... When I heard that, I'm like, nah, this shit gotta be fake. Nigga, this sounds like video game talk. Like, it sounds like I just wanted to GTA, customize my kid in GTA 6. Nigga's like, saying I can on, make bro. LeBron? I can make LeBron? <laughs> Yo, Jay, we up, bro. <laughs> we got our kid going to the league. There's no way that's real. Bro. I that, think that is insane. It's either insane. it's either I feel like that's a stretch or they're starting that shit out. It's OP. That's like literally OP. You can make whatever you want. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Nah, bro. But like I, I was when he was talking about that shit. I'm like, nah, this nigga is on some weird shit. But Mm-mm. the next one, what's the other shit we got? Oh, this this honey bun. This honey bun should look kind of busted. Hold on. I fuck with it really. This is really. good. This is fire. <laughs> Hold on. This is good. This shit really good. Like this shit actually tastes like a honey bun for real. Mm-hmm. That's fire. Nah, that's good. That's the best one so far. Oh lie. shit! All right, let me try this Oreo one. Let me get through these cookies so yeah, I don't just keep hearing me chew it while I go through topics and shit. Now this one's supposed to be like a tastes like an Oreo cookie. I doubt it, but we'll see. Let's see. Let me not doubt. Let me not doubt. Damn, my honey bun go crazy. It's d- okay, I, I I don't really. Oh, it's not bad. It does taste like Oreo though. They definitely use Oreos in this shit. How the cream taste sour, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't I, know, I know you just that little tangy taste. Yeah. I don't know. I think that's like the. I don't know if that's the cream. I think it might be cream cheese. Cream cheese is fucking insane on cookie. What did you say? Like cream cheese frosting. I've never heard of that in my life, bro. Really? Like no. never? Like you never had red velvet cookies? Yeah, but that's not cream cheese. Isn't yes, it, it is. Whipped cream? No, sometimes it's uh, cream cheese, right? Fuck no. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> you just put cream cheese and some sugar on it, bro. Ew. It's like it's like cheesecake. I don't like cheesecake. Oh damn, that's tough. <laughs> yeah. And the last one is raspberry donut. Jay told me this is rocking. I'm I know you. Respectfully, I'm not gonna have it. You're not gonna eat it. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> you want it? This little piece, I didn't touch it. Okay. I'll yeah. give you that. Mm. Okay, you want it? Not that group. I cannot, bro. You got me on the strawberry one last time. I tried it, but raspberry, you missed me. I cannot. You don't like fruity stuff? Uh, not really, no. Oh, I get you. I get you. It'll be like that. The jelly-filled donuts, I will not. Never. See, jelly-filled donuts, I feel like it's not that bad. I could tolerate it. Like the little munchkin shits. Nah, I just couldn't, bro. I don't know. Something about like the consistency, bro. I don't know. Of the, oh, of like the um, the fruity shit? Yeah, me just want to gag. I don't know. Bro. I get you. I get you. So... People, if you didn't want to hear that, skip to this mark right here. I'm, I'm going to tag it. <laughs> so if you didn't want to hear us chew or talk about shit like that, it's whatever. Why don't you grow up, bitch? Why don't you enjoy the little things in life? I know, right? Like, like niggas what? eating cookies. Fuck you. Why she had to comment that? GG and Black and Chun Chun, whatever fucking name is. <laughs> but yeah, so they was talking about you could really customize your own children. No, nah, it's not possible. That's like, that's literally, we're playing the fucking Sims, bro. Like, 
Like, it can't. It possibly. I don't know. Does they, do you think it will really work for real? Yeah, I'm playing 2K character builds, but in real life, like, <laughs> fuck. How much do you think that shit would cost, though? Oh, hella, bro. No, because to make a kid OP, it's probably you know, like that's, yeah, what, that's like extra, a market bro. for making kids is insane. Absolutely, yeah. Oh man, but like I, would you if you, if it, the opportunity ever presents itself, would you do it? Mm. Is that technically cloning? Low key, low key, right? Low key. So if the opportunity ever presents itself, would you do it? I don't. I feel like it takes the fun out of it. You know, it's a surprise. <laughs> this kid's going to be OP, bro. I know because the, the the boy, the nigga that was on the show, he was talking about some. Oh, we're we're having like we're trying to have a girl. Like, but he said like like in a way like we're making one. Like it's going to be a girl. No care what happens, it's going to be a girl. And then he was explaining to him like they use like different genetics and they can like add it to like the the um. Whatever that shit's called. It's like the... Is it embryo? Yeah. They, they'll add it to it and then it'll just become a kid. Nah. It has your DNA in it. It has some other DNA, molecules, some shit like that. Yeah, I'm about to start crossbreeding with animals if you could fucking genetify or uh, <laughs> modify the, fucking embryos and whatnot. Niggas about to turn into fucking the minotaurs. Beast, bro. <laughs> nah, hell no. But then I was... I, when I was reading that, I also... I found out about this one lady who is like... Nostradamus. You ever heard of Nostradamus? Nostradamus is the guy who can tell the future, isn't Yes. He? Yeah. So there was supposedly a lady back in the 19, like, 1900. She died in 1996. Her name is Baba, Baba Vanga. And she is, like, a blind woman. Like, she had, like, a, a a terrible accident when she was a kid. Like, she got caught in a tornado. And she lost her vision because mm-hmm. she had so much dirt and stuff in her eyes. Mm-hmm. But then as she, like, over the years, she started, like, seeing, like, visions of the future. And she was predicting shit. Like, she, was pre- she predicted 9-11... And they said, mm. they said all of her predictions are like either eighty to ninety percent accurate. Mm-mm. Like there's like a recording of her saying like predicting a nine eleven attack, saying like the uh, the World Trade Center was going to get attacked by steel birds. They had there was a recording of her saying that our forty fourth president was going to be an African American, and that was Barack Obama. She predicted anything else? She like, pre- that's like ahead of us right now. She predicted that. In 2022, that there was gonna be a lot of floods in like Asia and Australia, and remember in the beginning of the year, I think was it might have been beginning of the year. There was like mad. There's like a I think there was like a bunch of floods like that happened in Australia, that almost like wiped out the the shit. Mm-mm. And then and then it even goes she goes further, bro. Like she starts predicting like the future, future. Like two, she said in 2088, she predict predicted that there was a there will be a virus that can age people rapidly within like seconds. I'm gonna be dead. You think so? All By 280, 2088? I should be dead. You should be dead? Yeah. <laughs> Why? What the fuck? You're going to be like, what, 70? That's too long. <laughs> um, no, wait. Is she? So she, did she explain the process and how she like she just go to sleep and then she like... She said she, like, she said supposedly she'll see like visions of things. Like like not either... I don't know if it's like that's a raven or she like things will come to her. I think either in her sleep or during the day mm-hmm. and just like show her little images. And then she said by like 2000, what was the year? She said in two, 21, 2130, I don't even know how to say that, 2130, that we'll have cities underneath the oceans with the help of aliens. You said Atlantis is crazy. I'll be long said, gone, bro, though. No, I'll be long gone for that, too. And then they <laughs> said we're going to be on Mars by 2183. And like Mars will have its own like like stable community where they don't want to be a part of earth no more type that's shit that's insane and you know what she said for 2023 mm. she predicted the shit with the babies get the fuck out of here i swear nah, that's nutty i swear she said something about that humans will be able to genetically like make their own children Mm-mm. and then she also predicted that she, <laughs> the the wildest thing that she said about this year is that um there's gonna be an alien invasion I doubt that's going to happen. I doubt I'm going to be alive like to see that shit. That, I don't want to. I don't like the sound of <laughs> that shit either. That I'm shit kind of scares me. I'm very good off of alien invasion. I'm going to be honest. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't want to see none of that shit, bro. But 80 to 90% accurate, bro. That's kind of nuts. Mm, nigga, that's very scary. Is she allowed like outside? I don't <laughs> like, I'd have her in a government facility, bro. She would I, not be able to leave. I think she she just died in the oh, ni- in 96. Shit. But like she predicted, like she, I think so, uh, her family like translated a lot of things. Cause she can't. I don't know if she can speak anymore. It's some shit. Like they, she, they translate like what she was like seeing, and it like predicted like many years into the future type shit. So mm. I don't know if this shit's gonna happen. But the the shit with the flooding and this with the the kids is kind of nuts. I'm not gonna lie. 
Nigga, if alien invasion happens, bro, I'm selling my soul to the devil. <laughs> what the fuck you. that's gonna do? Why? Save me, nigga. <laughs> that's not good. But you just like he's got to be more powerful <laughs> than some aliens, bro. <laughs> Yo, nah, bro, nah. I'm not gonna lie. If I see that shit, bro, I don't want to be alive for that mm-hmm. shit. Okay, mm-hmm. what if an alien invasion just means just they just come by? I'm sure it has nothing to do with like anything good. <sighs> I'm sure they don't. I mean, I don't want. Maybe that, they bro. don't have bad intent, but I'm sure. We're somewhere in the world. Someone's gonna do something to piss them off, and we're done for. You think so? Yes. There's always that one person that just ticks always, them off. Always. <laughs> Everybody be shaking their hands. They'll give. They'll be giving us all a million dollars each. Some niggas and throw a rock. <laughs> niggas and blow up the planet. Niggas just be fucking up everything. Yes, bro. bro. That's how it is. That's funny as hell. But and then there's also there was also an article in 1923 that had like the predictions of the world a hundred years later. 1923. In 1923, they made it, they posted an article in the newspaper of what so they that means no. now, what they predict now. So let's see what they say. I, I mm-hmm. looked it up on the internet. It says, let me look at it. Let me see if this is the right one, actually. Because I remember they said a lot of things. Oh, one thing I remember they said was that they said that the woman would have shorter hair and men will have long curly hair. Like that would be a, that'll be a normal thing. And I'm not going to lie. It was kind of spot on with that one. They also, I think they also said that our advancements in technology would be really like way ahead of where they were now, which technically it is like, you know, we got self-driving cars. Mm -hmm. We have, we have the new AI systems and shit like that. And we have, um, VR headsets, VR headsets. So it is got, I guess that's kind of true. They also said, what they say? They said, um, what are they talking about? They said something about, uh, advancements in health. So I guess that means that people will be living longer. I don't know anything about health and modern science and Me terms of health. I have no idea. I mean, what do you think? The maybe. Av- maybe what the average is like, what, 80? Lifespan? Yeah, lifespan maybe like 80 years. I'd say, I'd say 80 up, honestly. 80 and We're up, We're doing right? pretty good. Yeah. So well, I- majority of death right now, I think, is like in the 20s. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I get you. They was talk- Yeah, they was talking about living longer and shit like that. But in terms of actual lifespans dying from old age, it's like 80, yeah. Yeah, so I mean... Maybe there was a little. Maybe they. I think they predicted some other stuff, but it doesn't really tell me here. I looked up some, some article on freaking the shit, bro. But I wanted to talk about that because there was also some shit I seen. Like, like I wanted to ask you a question, right? Mm-hmm. So you know, back in the nineteen seventies, right? Since you like, you know, you play video games stuff. We all yes. play video games. The first video game came out in Pong. nineteen, yeah, nineteen seventy. And look how where we at? What's that? Fifty years from now. 50 years from then, you see where video games has gone to. Crazy levels. Crazy Crazy levels. levels. Pong was literally just a stick and a ball, and you just hit it back and forth. Mm -hmm. So now, 50 years from today, where do you think video games will be? Dude, fuck. Honestly, I'm thinking, and I I mean, only led to assume, because, I mean, the biggest step in video game technological advances has been, like, the full body tracking for VR Mm -hmm. and shit like that, which I think is absolutely out of this world. Yeah. Next thing is that you've seen Sword Art Online. What's that? Everybody makes it like a joke. Oh, it's an anime where they, they came up with this new VR thing. Yeah. And it puts you to sleep and you're literally in a different world. Really? Like your consciousness is in a different world. You're moving, doing everything, but they got trapped in it, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. But I think genuinely, I'm not saying it for the meaning like everybody else does. Like literally, if we could do from Pong to this now, from now to 50 years, there's no way they can't put our stream of consciousness in a game or insert a chip into our fucking head and make us like live out a different game or some shit like that. That's crazy. Like, like, like the, the, the uh, Black Mirror episode. Oh, where they that's, put the... I feel like that's not too far off, yeah. I don't think so either, bro. Especially with the new VR headsets, bro. And did you see, like, the freaking... um, What's it called? The the new... I, freaking Fortnite made a new engine, right? Because I think it was on some Engine 4, and they was talking about how real it looks. Like, if you go into Fortnite now, it looks like... Like, the graphics looks really real. Mm-hmm. And they were saying, like... They were saying, the like, the theory... You know, with all the simulations and shit like that. Yeah. They was talking about the only way that you could prove we're in a simulation is if video game graphics are one of one to real life. Meaning that you can look in a video game and not tell that you're in a video game. No, that's insane. So, and it's like, I remember I seen a video of a guy that, I guess they used a certain engine, like mm-hmm. AI, and they created like a, a beach effect. And I swear to God, it looked like somebody was recording on their phone at the <laughs> beach. But it was an actual beach. Yeah. And then I seen... Like, you know, the, there was a guy on Twitter. He's like, um, he's one of those little, like, um, those people that be going and like motivating people that be giving it like, like, you know, doing steps on how to like go through life and shit like Mm -hmm. that. So he posted, his name was 
Ali Ali Abdal, if I, I hope I didn't botch his name. So he tweeted out a tweet, right? And it had 15 pro- productivity hacks. And it was like on like a, um, what's that shit called? The little, uh, I can't forget what this shit's called. But he, he tweeted out, right? And he had mm-hmm. 15 hacks of, pro- mm-hmm. of productivity. And it was the, his most viral tweet. It got almost a million views, hella retweets. And, his, and at the end of it, he said, AI generated this whole thing. And the whole point of it was to see if AI could replace a human. Yeah. <laughs> and he literally did that. His most retweeted tweet, his most like viewed tweet, and he didn't even write it. Mm. That's not that's when he when I heard about that, that shit scared me. And it was it was a thread. Like he had a thread of all the lists and people was listening to it. I'm like, bro, niggas could have been doing this shit for years, Nigga, bro. First of all, AIs are scary. I don't know if you've been looking at it on TikTok. A lot of people are doing AI generated pictures. Yeah. It could take you for one for one, put it in an AI, make it a picture, or you could just simply tell this AI a fucking word, and it will create an entire portrait from the word. That's or any word you want, combination, make it. That's crazy. It's literally making something that doesn't exist, which is something we cannot do. Like if we ask an AI to make a color, it probably could. That's we scary. Can't I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. If a, if a, if a computer is able to make a color, yeah. that's nuts, my nigga. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the end of us. Y'all got a little. Y'all got to slow down a little bit. I think we're going a little too fast to where we <laughs> we can't handle that shit, bro. Because it's like they. I remember, like you know, I was talking about the last episode. I think with Fritz, they was they have a, there's a um, there's a little AI generated thing where it can like do your homework for you, hmm. like you literally just put in a word and how many how long you want it to be and it just it comes up with words and that shit like insane. that. And then they also have a it like I remember it said make a Playboy Cardi song, right? <laughs> make a no play- with the lyrics of like computer. Mm-hmm. And then they put it, they had the lyrics and they put it into another AI generator and said, make this sound of Playboy Cardi. It sounded just like him. Nah. So that's nah, we're getting too crazy. I'm not gonna lie, it's bro. getting too nuts, bro. And it's like these niggas, all right, so we're we're get we're having this now, right? Mm-hmm. What what does what if somebody that's evil gets their hands on shit like this? Yeah, we're fucked. Nigga, this is not even propaganda. Every told you, every told you we're fucked. Like, if robots gain any bit of intelligence to where they are self-aware, fuck. I'm not done. Even, I'm not even scared about the robots. I'm talking about niggas that's just gonna freaking take advantage of us and use that shit as, like, propaganda. Like, just imagine, bro. Mm. You can, like, you can say we in war right now and just, like, recreate a whole war scene. And just get, like, imagine, right? Imagine we was, like, we're we're trying to go into war somebody and mm. like they show a base in like russia whatever and they show a game bombed and now they show it to us play on all news platforms and say look what they did to us and now we're all hyped up trying to go to war but that should never happen yeah, fake, right? like there's all propaganda shit imagine that shit happens bro it's possible i mean that shit that should have to have happened before it's on a lesser scale but yeah unless like scale. ai came into the mix and it was really real that's what i'm saying like if that shit looks so real bro I don't know, bro. <laughs> I don't like that shit. That should be creeping me out, bro. And even I remember they was talking about like niggas be saying like there's like real life bots in the world. Like, do you think there's like bots? Like, you know, like NPCs where they're just like not real humans, but they just like they'll be coming here and there just to keep you on track in life. I don't think they're real nah, bots. I don't but think- niggas, there's some niggas out there that absolutely are not real human beings. <laughs> I don't know what nah. they are yet, but they're not real. Now nah, there's people that. That, I, that I experience in my life that act like bots. Nah, y'all bro. know who y'all are if y'all watch this shit. I'm really some like like <laughs> I be looking like like um uh, on the side of town in Union where nobody goes to by Battle Hill. I feel like that's where all the bots live, bro. No, because I don't know bots. nobody that lives over yeah, there. Hell of bots. Like I, I never, I never seen anybody walk out of them houses. It feels that shit feels like it's like empty. Nah, I mean, nah. There's like, like they're miles with the name drop. Like, <laughs> there's niggas that are not real. I refuse to believe they're real life. I know two of them personally in our friend group. I t- two people I'm not convinced are fully human yet. I'm dead ass, dude. In a good way or a bad way. Mm. What you think? <laughs> what you think? I don't know, bro. I, like, just imagine there's like, like, what's that movie with um the nigga that played Deadpool? Uh. Uh, what's you know uh, Ryan Reynolds? Reynolds. Yeah. Remember that movie where he was like an NPC and he realized he's an NPC. Yeah. It's like he lives. All right, so he lives in like a in like a video game world, but he's a NPC. And then he realized like he's an NPC and he's trying to he's trying to get out that world. Oh, never. never like he like he's world. like um like he does this one specific thing every single day, and then one day he's just like you know what I'm not gonna do this no more. And then he like j- it's like getting out of the Matrix type mm. shit. I don't know. It's, it's supposed to be kind of funny, but just yeah. imagine that's us, bro. <laughs> 
But Low you, key, bro. I don't know. It, do, could be real, like, it very well could be. You know how many times I've thought about just like, what if someone else is controlling my life right now? I think like, about that a lot, bro. I, I make it feel like I'm making my own decisions, but somebody's literally just clicking on a keyboard and I'm just rambling words. It's, with with all this technology, bro, it looks like that shit's not far off, bro. It's no, creep. I don't know anymore, bro. <laughs> It'd be scary. I'd I be trying not to go down them rabbit holes because I really never go back, bro. Some nigga upstairs on the keyboards is making me go to work for some XP points. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, shit, that's what I'm saying, bro. This is all just a video game, bro. Mm-mm. But you got anything you want to talk about before I go into this one topic? Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Lighthearted questions first. I have four questions, right? They, yeah, I what's asked up? The, the two things, right? So what is the best part of your day, you'd say? Every single day, you know, Monday through Sunday. What's the favorite part of your day? My what's favorite? The best part, yeah. Mm. Like a normal day? Mm-hmm. Low-key, like coming home from work probably. Like say I say I worked a long day, and like I just I work like a, a game or some shit. Just mm-hmm. coming home like afterwards, either it's for like going to Jay's house or coming on the game or some shit like that. Or just editing. I feel like that's like the best part of the day. Just like either even if it's like at like eleven o'clock at night, I feel yeah. like that's the best part. Absolutely. Because like I feel like in the morning that shit's like mad. It's like you got hella shit. You have like, oh, I got all this shit to do, yeah. and I'm just thinking it's like you can't really relax. But like when all that mm-hmm. shit's over, I feel like that shit's good, bro. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. 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 Follow up question, kind of mid, right? Because we we come from a shitty place. What's your favorite <laughs> thing about your hometown? Oh, what's the favorite? My favorite thing about your hometown? Yeah. Damn. What the hell do I like about this place? Um, I like. I right, you know what? I like how diverse it is. Is mm-hmm. that even a good thing? <laughs> but like, what's good about this place? Nothing. Like, like, is there something good about Union? No, there has to be something, bro. Something mm-hmm. the people move here. They, uh, pizza, the pizza's good. <laughs> <laughs> the pizza's pretty good. Anything else? Garbage. Uh, out. what do you think? Uh, my favorite thing about this hometown. Nothing. I'm like genuinely besides like the people that I met. Nothing. Nothing in this town is fucking good. That's what I'm saying. Union's pretty nothing. shitty. But I feel, do you think everybody says that about every wherever they live? Probably, but like, really, what is there to do here? Really, what is there? Name one thing. Uh, one thing we have in Union. We have Sky Zone. We have the swamp. If you want to go adventure, if you want to be adventurous, you want to go in the swamp. Like Union Center. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I can't even name one real store in Union Center, bro. I can't name one. Bro, now nah, that you think about that, there's a there's a place in Union Center that's I feel like it's like cursed, my nigga. What? Like you know that one? You know when you're going? You know where Dunkin' Donuts is? Yeah. You know across the street that little corner where there's always a restaurant. Yeah. I feel like that that corner, every business that goes into that uh, building <laughs> is like runs doomed, out of business. Runs out of business within six months. There's <laughs> like if you notice, there's there's been so many like places in that one spot. Yeah. At least if I could count, there's probably at least twelve. That I've been like that I lived there. I remember that she used to be like a a soul food restaurant. That's just a, per, a Peruvian restaurant. I thought it was a Java Juice. Nah, they fuck. Oh no, not that one. Not really? that corner. If you keep, it's like a little further down. Oh. Like like it's like the corner's right here. If you go down this street, it's like right here. Oh, okay, I know. I know what you're it's about. like I the first the yeah. first store, bro. Okay, yeah. Every single place runs out of business. It's always a. I remember it was like a seafood restaurant. It was a freaking hookah lounge at one point. <laughs> I don't even know if he was here for that shit, but it was. Oh my well, god! Also, how do you how do you fund? How how do you pay off a goddamn business in New Jersey? Who's supplying you? To be honest, if you're not a pizza spot, I was about to fucking name drop niggas and just expose the shit. That shit was crazy. I don't Nino's, know. Out of business. Union Theater. Out of business. Brooklyn. How the fuck are you still in business? Brooklyn's no not one that likes, okay. No Nino, one goes there, Mr. Bro. Nino's. That shit yeah. went out of business. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I mean, it uh, it depends on like the business though. But like, I mean, a lot of people are starting to move into Union though. I, you know why I think Union is? It's like a middle ground between the Newark? the trenches <laughs> and and the, the nice neighborhoods. It's like a nice middle yeah, ground. Okay. Everybody from Jersey City, Newark, always moves to Union because yeah. it's like you're not too far away from where y'all came from, yeah. but you're still out of the way. True. You know what okay. I'm saying? Yeah. Unless you live in the Ville. Also, fuck the Ville. <laughs> if anybody does watch this from Union and you live in the Ville, go fuck yourself. <laughs> I be I, I be forgetting there's so many other like public housing in Union other than that place. Uh, really? Yeah. Well, like, yeah, no, I guess there's like some Mill Run. Right, yeah. Like there's Mill, like Mill Run, that's the one that everybody knows about. But then if you go on Morris Ave, that one building across the street from the uh by Burnett, if you keep going yeah, that's up. That's what I'm saying, right to the, yeah. Yeah, that's one. And then if you keep going down past the high school by like right before you get to Dairy Queen, there's like a little them little public housing over mm-hmm. there. Like, I don't know who the fuck lives over there. 
I swear, I have never seen. I know one person that lives with a high school that's Victor, bro. <laughs> really? One person. Like, he lives in a house or he lives in, like, the public shit? In a house. Yeah. Okay, okay. But, I mean, like, to say union, bro, like, y'all, we really don't got much, bro. No. Remember the Proud to be American Day Parade, bro? No. Do you remember You remember no. those in middle <laughs> I, Fuck no. I was in that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you proud to be an American? No. <laughs> I did that Me shit too. for extra credit points, bro. Me too, bro. You proud to be... Nah, you, you was the Marines, bro, nigga. You proud to be American? Me, me and Bash, yeah. <laughs> I fought for this country. What can I say? <laughs> Fucking shitty-ass country. <laughs> hey, bro. But, oh, okay, I got I got a question for you, bro. Okay. Would you rather mm-hmm. lose both of your arms or both of your legs? Both my legs. Both of your legs? Every day of the week. I, I mean, it comes down to, can I play video games? Why does that have to be the thing? Because there's nothing else I really... Like, I don't strive for anything else on this planet. Really? So you rather have no legs on a on a wheelchair? Yeah. So you know that means you're gonna have to I mean you're up top probably gonna be strong, you probably gonna be Aki. Yeah. So that's you, worth it, bro. That's worth it. Well I can't drive? Okay. <laughs> you know, fuck it. You probably can't get no coochie. Yeah, I could. Yeah, I could. think about it. You're getting coochie with no arms? You you, <laughs> you still gotta you you might not have does you can't even beat off. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get anything. Yo, Nah, how you feeding yourself? Freak. With no arms? Yeah, nigga, just look like a like a like a like a bird, <laughs> like, a <chicken. laughs> like a chicken. You just bend down and just eat that shit. Nah, nah I think I would do no legs too though. I, I'd rather with the with the wheelchair. That's what I'm saying, bro. I, I've never seen a person with no arms though. I've seen you know one arm, you know, but not no, but no, no arms? arms is absolutely insane. That's a shitty life. <laughs> like, a, you're very unlucky. You probably have no balance for real. Like if you fall, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> You really just commit to the fall, bro. You fall. You can't catch yourself. Like, you can't catch yourself, bro. If somebody knocks you over, you just can't. Like, you off balance, off bro, rip. if I slap you, what could you do? Like, <laughs> you can't even block it. Like, you're done up. Nah, what if you nice with, with, your, with your legs, though? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I. Damn. So, so, you ever see the niggas that have no bottoms, bro? Yeah. Do you think they get Gucci? But they be having girlfriends. Nah, it may not be mean. Pity cases though. Um Do you think like do they think do you think they still do stuff? They oral. <laughs> no, I guess, no, no, bro, no, cuz what else could you do, bro? Like, what do you <laughs> I just don't understand how you exist. <laughs> Yo, you just got to keep fighting, bro. <laughs> you just got to keep going out through life, like, bro. Like it is insane. That's How do you get funded? What? How do you get money? That's not ben- that's not medical insurance. Oh, do you? That's health Does insurance. Does the world maybe? pay you for being a deformed? Probably. Maybe. Not worth. It's not worth it. Ah, dude, go next. <laughs> GG. <laughs> FF. Because I be think I was thinking about. I'm like, yo, if I be seeing niggas with no legs, but it's not like they don't have like they don't have the torso. It's like it's no, just it's this, a, just torso. So do they have one down there? No, they can't. Uh, well, no, they can't. There's just no way because it's not. I guess it's not a vital, necessary organ, really. But then I'd be and be like, what if they do have it? And they're just How do you drag, poop? They just dragging it. That's what I'm saying. How do you pee? They're, those are the bots, bro. Those nah, are the bots of the world, bro. Real, those bro. are the bots. <laughs> the, robots, yo, bro. that's what I'm saying. How do you pee or poop, bro? Yeah, no, that's a good question. How do you consume anything? How do you? How do you? Like, they don't, like, I be seeing, like, there's this one dude, wait, no, what the fuck? Do you even, like, there's this one dude that be working out and he has, like, no legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I know he, what you're talking about. But, like, does he, I'm, I'm trying to think, does he wear shorts? Like, what type of pants does he wear? Is it, like, custom, <laughs> customized, like, bottoms? I think they just wear an oversized tee and tie the bottom. <laughs> Like I, I don't know because you know the the question of how they use the bathroom really is bothering the show. They don't know. <laughs> they really can't use the bathroom unless they have like a hole down there. Yeah, no, I get, don't. And they just put they just like push it out. But even though like that's crazy, damn, I should fuck my head. Up. Like, go, go next, bro. I'm not gonna go to like, <laughs> no. I'm talking about like these niggas in life. Just like I just go, <laughs> just go. Yo, oh my god. It's not worth, I'll be honest. That's OD, bro. Oh my god. Like I was thinking about that for like a week, bro. I've been waiting for this pod, bro. I was thinking about that about that for a week, bro. <laughs> but oh. I just No, nah, I'm not gonna lie to you. I have to say I'm gonna look it up later. Like, like I I gotta know how the fuck they use the bathroom. Cause there's no it's like Okay, you can you can go about your daily life. You could eat, you could work out and things like that. You're just gonna work out your upper body. Yeah. But it's like, how do you use the bathroom? Like, do you use the bathroom or does it, like, do you have, like, a, like, you know, the little tube stuff, like, that thing? They have to. 
How do you shower? How, how do you, how do you wash your hands? No, I think somebody actually. That's why I think they need like somebody to like help them because yeah, no, like so I having a girlfriend kind of helps. But like as a girl, like like I'm, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I think I'll make jokes at the person. But it's like I like I've seen videos where like <laughs> like there'll be people that have no legs and they'll take their like their wheelchairs as like a prank. <laughs> They'll be stuck in like a room. <laughs> they can't get up. <laughs> they just, <laughs> in a room is nuts. Like they, like they're like, like they're like, they're like trying to get on. And they're like, oh, I got your wheelchair, and then they're just like crawling, and he's like crawling like a zombie and shit like that. <laughs> nah, bro. Oh my god. I don't know, bro. Hey, bro. Put god in the comments if you know, bro. Hey, if you if you one of those people and you listen to this, bro, we love you, bro. I'm sorry. No hard feelings. It's just I'm all sorry. jokes, people. It's all jokes. Don't, don't I hate, sometimes I be hating. Everybody's so soft around these days. We can't joke about shit nowadays. Snowflake we get world, canceled, bro. bro. We live in a snowflake ass world, and I couldn't care less to be honest. Like, Honestly, damn. I start. I had to stop looking at it. It's, it's. I see it as if you take my opinion serious enough to get hurt by it, you're probably fucking stupid. I'll be <laughs> honest. Now, like my friend or someone I know, my family says something. Yeah, I'm going to take it serious. It hurts my feelings. Now, yeah. if one of you fucking idiots says anything to me, how stupid would I be to listen to what you're saying? You're That's fucking what I'm idiot. saying. Like, so. why Like, why do you care what we say? I don't know. These are weird, bro. Like, I really, the, I'll never Like, come on, bro. Like, why, how y'all get hurt by what we say? I, I, don't, I don't know, bro. But, all right, I got another question, right? So, do you say, would you say that you watch more movies than the average hum- uh, person? Like, you have an idea a lot about a couple movies and shit like that? Yeah. Okay. I think so. So, what movie do you think could be real life what fictional movie you think could actually happen in real life or could have been based off a true story but they never told us i think what could happen in real life i think it's it's fiction but possible because anything that has to do with time is pretty much infinite because they could come from an infinite point in time and come back as tenant Mm -hmm. because it deals with time inversion have you seen it i've watched the first couple uh, bits of it yeah well it's time inversion it's very well could be possible someone from the future can be Giving someone inverted objects from future to present mm. or from past to present. I think I'm, I'm going to go in a different direction. I think that movie, you ever watch The Strangers? Oh, uh, that horror that? movie, the one where they was in a house mm-hmm. and there was like a bunch of like murderers after, after them and they was just like for no reason they okay, were just killing yeah, them. Yeah. I think that could possibly have happened. Have happened. Have happened or could happen to and anybody. Just no one ever knew about it. And just nobody ever. But I think it was somewhat based off a true story uh-huh. so maybe that won't count i'll say maybe i say loki like the purge can but, happen but not in a sense where it's the whole country but i think like a little mini town like missouri like in the yeah. backwoods they can like they'll like you know like those little towns where they're just like away from everybody yeah and they have their own little structure technically like their own little government i feel like they could like create some little yeah like war against each other just to like you know fix some just shit maybe day, yeah. just for a day you know just go okay you can, i could really see that i could see that happening either maybe maybe not in america it could be happening like other countries and shit like that i could i could also That's fucking insane though. i could also see some of the like the giant monster movies not like monster as a like godzilla i'm talking about like like um super sized like regular animals like a big crocodile because yeah. I don't know if you know there was a, in the Philippines a couple of years ago they found a crocodile that was almost twenty five feet long <laughs> a crocodile Ooh. and they Wait, ca- that's like I almost said something really stupid how long is the truck uh what kind of truck like a, a I think it's bigger than that no maybe the same no nah, actually I think a like a like an eighteen wheeler mm. or like a normal size truck I'd say normal size truck that one might be like thirty feet possibly yeah. but like 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 in the philippines like they caught him and they put him in on like a little like cart of bamboo and like they tied him up but like he starts like he woke up and starts shaking and like this like the, his head was the size of like yeah like a little bigger than the chair and they said that's <laughs> because they say he was hunting like he, uh like people in like the rice farms and shit like that and like he was killing humans so they had to f- find him and kill him but they don't even think he's like the real the real big one they said there was something that was even bigger than that. That's insane. So either that, like, because I remember there was like a, you ever watch like Lake Placid? No. There was a there was a movie called Lake Placid. It was in, I think Lake Placid, Placid's in New York. And it was about like a giant crocodile in the lake. So, I mean, I, I mm. could, I wouldn't be surprised about that. All no, that that's shit. probably crazy oversized animal somewhere. That's what I'm terms saying, of like, bro. Uh, stuff like uh, alligators and snakes and whatnot. Especially alligators or crocodiles. Crocodiles are huge, bro. Mm-hmm. And I think crocodiles are like listed as like the most dangerous animal in the world. Really? I think so. Because like think about it, like them niggas really I think crocodiles and tigers are like one of the only animals that could like 
like go out and actually like hunt people. Like uh, like you ever seen like a tiger? They will actually like strategize and like try to like hunt humans down for real. Like they will they could like remember your face or something like that, and they will actually go and hunt you down, and kill you. Mm-mm. So big like cats are evil, bro. No, nah, big cats. All them all them types of niggas. Them niggas is sick, bro. I will not fuck with them niggas, but mm. I think shit like that, like little monster things, could actually be real at some point. No, yeah, I could see it. I could definitely see oversized uh, animals in terms of that being real. Uh, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Toy Story. Why does everybody go to Toy Story? Cause hear me out, bro. How the fuck would we ever know? That's what I'm saying. I like. I'm not gonna lie. When I was a kid, I used to think my toys would come to life mm-hmm. because. You never know, bro. Like, bro, there's literally no proof. You, no- <laughs> you can't prove to me that they don't come alive. Like, literally, whenever they see some, I mean, if you put, like, does cameras count? You could put cameras, but what if they're so smart? They're like, they'll know. I won't move to the. <laughs> <laughs> you know? That's kind of true. I'm not going to lie. Toy Story, that is a good one. I'm not going to lie. Toy Story is a good one. That's a freaky ass one. Whoever created that shit is sick, bro. <laughs> That's a freaky ass one. <laughs> what other movies? Um, Fucking. How about that Indian movie we watched the other day? Uh, <laughs> no, nah, Indian production in Bollywood is absolutely nuts. <laughs> dude, they are over the fucking top, but it was gas. It was did you so like that gas. movie? Yeah, I did. Actually, I really liked that. <laughs> All right, what if you watch that whole shit through? Mm, I don't know if I'm sitting through it for three I'm hours. Not, I'm not Nah, you missed me on that. But the way we watched it, kind of skimming through it to the good parts. That wasn't that bad. That wasn't that bad. Yeah. But yeah, I think shit like that. Maybe some of... Uh, maybe... Uh, you know, paranormal activity, that shit probably real. That shit. I don't know. Dude, I'm really... I want to buy into ghosts. I really do. But again, I just haven't seen anything that gives me foundation. I don't want to, but... I want to see something, man. Not Maybe not in person, but I want to see something that's like, damn, a ghost are real. I, I just want to see it. Bro, when I, I think... I told I said it in the last part, but I said at the end. Bro, when I was, I was sleeping one night, I was about to go to sleep. And I usually... I pray before I go to sleep. So I was, mm-hmm. I was sleeping... And I felt the gust of cold wind hit me. Like, Mm -hmm. I'm laying, I'm facing this way. It went like this. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I look up, my window's closed. All my windows are closed. So I'm like, nah. And it felt like a fan, like just blue air. Like, I swear to God, bro. And I'm looking around. I'm like, yo. And I just like, you know, let me just not act like I seen this shit. That Mm -hmm. shit scared the fuck out of me, bro. And then I remember... I was leaving my, my kitchen and I closed the door and I felt something go like this. Like it was like, I'm like, what the fuck? Like he just touched my back. Yeah. Like he's like, like something. I thought I got caught on something, but it was like the like the middle of my back. Mm. So I'm like, nah, bro. I don't know about ghosts. That's a thing where I really never, I feel like, I, I don't know if I'm like tricking myself saying I've experienced this yeah. or if it actually happened type of thing. I don't, I'm like teetering on the fence. Cause That's I, what I'm saying. Like, cause most of the shit that happened, like, that with the ghost stuff happened to my mom and she just told me the stories but hey you never know bro I don't, I don't know about that shit but i got a i got a story to tell you bro okay that i seen on youtube from uh shout out this guy's name is mr ballin bro this is a this is a story it's i don't know what this thing is but it's, it's kind of like slenderman right okay so 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 this is in 2019 a girl from france just comes back home she lives in a small town in France, and she just comes back home from college, right, for the summer. Yeah. So, in her town, it's a pretty small town in the forest. So, like, there's a forest in the, like, around the town, and she, her and her family loves to go in the forest, and there's, like, this little man-made lake, like, in the center of it that only her and her family, like, really know about, and they really go out there. So, they only, them and maybe some people from the town go there. Okay. So, when she comes back from college, right, she was like, you know what, I want to go see this. I haven't, I've been stressed out through doing work. I haven't gone to see like nature and things like that. So let me go, let me go to the woods, right? Mm-hmm. So she knows a specific trail that she always took ever since she was a kid. So she didn't even have to bring her parents. She went by herself. So she was walking on the trail, right? And she has to, I think she follows like a little stream. She runs across this dead beaver and it had his head cut off. Mm-hmm. Right? First of all, it's nuts. <laughs> it's nuts, bro. Yeah, it's nuts. I've but never seen an animal that has to get off. That's what I'm saying. But it's not like an animal killed it. It was just like, precisely just cut off and she couldn't find the head so she was like all right and then she would hear like a normal like a little weird bell in the woods like a like a like you know little like the little ringing bells yeah she would hear in the woods and she was just like all right maybe there's somebody so she just went that day she just went to the lake and stuff like that but then a couple days later she went back to the lake and it's like right before the sun was going down so i think it was like right around like six seven o'clock so she's walking and then it just starts raining and she walks she's walking the same path she she goes right past the beaver and then it starts raining like really hard. So she's like, all right, you know, let me turn around and go back. She turns around, goes back. 
when she's walking, she runs into something. She hits it and she looks at it. It's the beaver, but it's hung on a string on a tree. And the head is like on its hands being held like this. <laughs> Just like this, bro. Like so it's like sewed to like this, right? Yeah. So now... She don't know what the... She's scared of shit. And she hears the bell just ringing, just ringing. And she hears people, something walking. So then she starts booking it. So running, running, running until she gets to a clearing in the forest. And then she she uh, she gets to the clearing and then she turns around. She sees this big, tall, dark figure come out the forest and it has a bell around its waist. So that's what's the, the ringing's mm-hmm. been around. So she's, she sees it. She starts booking it again. And when she's running, she hears the bell because that shit's like running yeah. after her. And then right before she get like... um. She just makes it to outside the forest where her parents were because she called it as it was doing it. Even her parents, they was on the phone when it was happening and they could hear the bell. Mm-hmm. And once they got out, they went into the forest and they called the cops and shit like that. And the cops went to the forest. They didn't find nothing. They couldn't find, they couldn't even find the beaver. They didn't find no bell. They didn't hear no bell. But all they found was just like a little weird, like a, it was just like a t-shirt folded up under a rock. But they don't know if it was just somebody playing a trick on her. But she said she swore she seen something like a really tall ass. It's supposed like, to be a real story. Supposedly, it's a real story. They found. I remember he he was I seen it on YouTube, but it's like, yo, when I heard that shit, I'm like, I'd be scared of the forest sometimes because you never know what would be yeah. in that shit. Because I remember, you know me, Jordan ish. We used to go like hiking yeah, and shit that like that. Geo hunting, whatever. Oh, that uh, the um. Uh, Rando nodding. Yeah, that shit. That yeah, shit was kind of creepy. Yeah. But like, imagine you in the woods, you see that crazy shit, bro. Nah, no, I couldn't. Like, I literally couldn't imagine. It I think I'm I would. I think I would have fucking died, bro. That shit would have got my <laughs> ass, bro. Like, well, the minute I hear a weird noise, I'm gone. That's what I'm saying. She just kept going, like like a like a loud ass bell. Oh nah, fuck that, bro. Nah, I I mean I don't I don't fuck. Really stupid story, real fast. Uh, I was I in the jungle. Oh yeah, you were. Uh, I was in the jungle and I was on fire watch at around two to three a.m. And we have these like you know like like a, like those flashlights that go around your head, yeah. the headlamp. Mm-hmm. And I have a hook my hoodie up. Yeah. But it's one of those like hoodies that make like the swishy noise, right? So it's like if if you hear the hoodie, like a windbreaker. Yeah, like a windbreaker. So he goes. Yeah. Right. So <laughs> my dumbass, I'm like I'm borderline falling asleep and tired of shit. Right. I look right, but I hear the swish of the windbreaker, but this isn't clicking in my head. <laughs> so I go. And it, it back and forth, <laughs> at least I swear to God, 10 times because it's kept on swishing. I was like, oh my God, something's here. Right? <laughs> no I, way. Yeah, bro. I swear to God, I was so scared. I was so scared. So I was like, wait, I'm wearing my hood. Then, yeah. Wait, where were you? This is when you was in Hawaii? Yeah, no, well, I was in Japan at the time. That's oh, okay, where I was okay. in little training, but yeah. Yo, so you thought there was somebody sneaking up on yeah, you? Yeah, no, I thought there was someone like constantly dashing like from my left to right. <laughs> so I couldn't see them. Were you in the jungle, jungle for real? Yeah, no, it's a jungle, yeah. Like legit jungle, yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. So like, where, where? All right. When you was in the Marines, was there like any source of danger? Like, was there ever like a time where like some danger could pop up, um, or was it just like recons and things like that? I'm sure there's units that actually do go to dangerous places. You know, like some of my unit went to Korea, which is kind of close to the North Korea base. Yeah. But obviously, they wouldn't set the lines. But mm-hmm. no, in, in reality, you're not in any real danger. I don't think anything you will actually die, unless. Uh, you do something stupid like um there was somebody that got shot on range while i was in really yeah but, um, i think it was it's a stu- it's a it's a really fucking dumb range it's in california and you have a range going on down here yeah right and then there's people shooting from down there uh, it's just a bad fucking idea and of <laughs> course somebody fucking fucks up runs and gets shot so he I'm died sure that, yeah yeah I wow. don't know who it is. I don't. It wasn't during it, my. It wasn't my unit. You know. It's just we're like. Uh, it's called a uh, ITX. It's yeah. Over twenty nine bombs, and it's a fuck ton of units collectively together. It's a mm-hmm. fuck ton. But yeah, someone someone's been shot there. Yeah. Oh, that's Absolutely. fucking crazy, my nigga. Yeah, it's a stupid ass range. What the hell? So like, when you be in the jungle, is it just like you just like what is like the the objective of that shit? Oh, it's, it's literally just jungle training. So for the first, oh, uh, okay. I think it's about five days of training. About seven. No, it's five five or six, right? Uh. The grunts go there for a little bit longer. They do it for two weeks. They just like actually live out there and then do some training there. Yeah. But for people like me who's not a grunt, I'm just a radio operator. Was. Uh, we just learned about it. Learned about like tracking and yada and snooze right, and then we rappelled down a big ass mountain, and then fast rappelled down like a slope, and then you do like this fucking course. You can look it up on YouTube. It's fucking terrible. It's one of the worst things I've ever done in my life. Really? Yeah. No, it's absolutely like terrible. Did you ever have to do that shit where you jump out of a helicopter into the water? 
Uh, no. Or is that the Navy SEALs that do that? No, well, Navy SEALs do. I mean, I'm sure there's Marines that do it, and like mm. yeah, Army, but I didn't do it. No, but I, I've, I've repelled out of a helicopter, repelled. Okay, cause yeah. I know you've been. So you've been in the jungle. I know you've been. You was in the desert. Mm-hmm. I wonder where this nigga Bash been at. No, where niggas, are, niggas are actual pogue. Pogue is people other than grunt. All right, so I'm a pogue, right? By by trade, I'm a pogue, which is people other than grunt. Grunt are the people that pew, 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 yeah, feel like garbage. Uh, I was in a grunt unit though, uh-huh. so more times than not, I was going out with grunts. I was attached. Two grunts okay. as a radio operator. They yeah. need a radio operator. I was there, so technically, so you were just there for like communications like, and shit. Yeah, so okay. I'm the, I'm the radio guy. Like, let's say like you all of our for free bands. You guys are all shooters. Like all all people who carry guns do all the things. I'm just the guy who knows about radio, so I come with you and I'm the communication back to where we ever need to go. And I'm gonna teach you guys how to use this radio. Shit okay, like all, right. all right. But Bash is just he he fixes tires on L tracks. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas a bum. Oh, Bash, bro. How the fuck you break your leg doing that shit, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bro. But that's tough, bro. You, you want to talk about something before I go into this one topic that's real? This is some big shit I never even heard okay. about it before. So I, I got I got, I got two things. Another uh, two-parter? Uh, no. Right, so I had this stupid-ass one. Where was this wood job? Would you choose if you were in a circus? But I want to. I was thinking about <laughs> it a little bit. I want to I ask, if you were a king, right? Yeah. The No Regulars was a kingdom. You were king of the castle. There's your queen. Yeah. And flea bands is has to be assigned to each role. The jester, you know, <laughs> the, the royal knights, a squire, prince, princess, something like that. What yeah. would you how would you assign it? Alright. <laughs> <laughs> jester. Alright, Jester's the the nigga that makes me laugh, right? Yeah. <laughs> the nigga's literally <laughs> just there to like do song and dance and juggle and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I would make <sighs> Damn, this is a crazy question. I mean, you can have more than one Jester. Okay, I, I know I'd have more than one I'll Jester. I would have more than one Jester, too. Yeah. I would make it, because Jordan, Jordan would make me laugh. Yeah. Jordan and Ish. Really? I, feel like Jordan, I feel like Jordan and Ish would really make me laugh for real. <laughs> like, them niggas would make me laugh. All right, to, to man the armies, Yeah. Ha. Ah, it's either between Chris or UJ. Mm. UJ, because he has the the... The mentality of conquering shit. Yeah. But Chris has the... Nigga, that nigga's a chess player. Bro. I know. Chris, has, he has the strategy. Yeah. UJ, UJ says he has strategy, but he just he just says what he's going to do. Yeah, Chris true. is going to say what he's going to do, but do something completely different. Yeah. So I think I'll pick I'll pick Chris for my uh, the generals. Okay. Second in command, though, I'll pick UJ. I'll pick, nice. I'll pick you for like the niggas that do research on shit. Like no. the, I need somebody that's ahead of like all the the science to make sure our we'll figure out how catapults work. Yeah, somebody <laughs> somebody that that uh you know make makes invention shit like that. Ba- Bash is gonna be the nigga that makes the shit. What's that? What's some niggas called that makes the the weapons? Uh, 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 uh forgers, blacksmith, blacksmith, yeah. blacksmith. Bash is gonna be the blacksmith. Am I missing? Oh, Fritz. What's Fritz gonna do? <laughs> shit, Fritz might be like the head of the army, not the head of the army, but he's gonna be like the best soldier. Ooh, well, like he'd be your number one knight. Yeah, he could be my number one knight. He could be like my bodyguard. Very nice. And then, am I missing somebody? Is that it? There's a couple other people. Jakai? You, you could say Jakai, yeah. <laughs> but, come on, just. Jester. Jester. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, Jakai, I can think Jakai could do research, too. Yeah. I can have him do research. Yeah. I'm feeling like I'm missing somebody. Uh, tell me why, if you really want. But nah, Tom's, Tom denied the flea. That's true. <laughs> fucking, fucking Tom, <laughs> Tom defi- de- de- uh, declined that somebody? shit. Let's see. I think I think that's it. That's just about that's the main people. Yeah, I mean you you got everyone that really matters, yeah. Alright, who who's yours, bro? <laughs> Alright. Uh if Tom didn't deny the flea, uh nigga's a gesture. I'm not gonna lie, this nigga's literally singing and dancing all day for my amusement. Who Tom? Yes. <laughs> all day. I, like not on the <laughs> clock. The round looks like I don't give a fuck. If I want a bad time story, he's, he's doing a backflip. Um Jakai, I would say, <laughs> could be in charge of uh like Stock, I suppose. You know, he's gonna ration the food. Okay, okay. Stuff like that. That's a, that's actually a good one. I didn't even think I'd about like that. That um, Chris again. I think I do a war tactics for sure. Yeah, for sure. He'd be one of the knights of the round table for war tactics. Um, <laughs> he'll be one of the knights of the round. Now, UJ, I think I just have him as a bedside knight. You know, he, <laughs> he's a knight of the round table, but he's like, he's a homebody. Like he's your protector. Type yeah. yeah of he's shit. a homebody guy. Okay. Okay. Ish. <laughs> I don't know what this thing is doing, bro. <laughs> bro, bro I tell you, just smoking the grab, 
<laughs> he go no, nah, he can he can like look up nah I don't know. I was gonna say look up new like medicines. He could be in charge of the medicine. Yeah, sure. He could be a medicine guy. He could be he could be in charge of the eats too. He knows what he's talking about. Eats. <laughs> Jordan, come on, brother. You're a jester. <laughs> Get real. You now what was I gonna say? you're gonna be not the head of war, but you're gonna be someone that's like somewhere high up in, in war for the morale boost. You're gonna be like the, the guy, lieutenant? Yeah. Like someone's oh. like, Come on guys, we can do it. Like give him a guy's rally oh, like speech. The, like the uh, like the motivational guy? Yeah, one okay, of those. Okay, okay, I guys. respect that. I respect that. Uh Fritz, again, probably just someone at the round table, but a bedside night with you, Jay. And then uh Bash. Bash is gonna get killed, bro. <laughs> I think he's done up. He's just, what, he's just gonna have like a plaque in the middle of the center, <laughs> like, yeah. like a statue of Bash, yeah. like the greatest warrior. <laughs> That's hard. All I hail got. Bash. <laughs> oh man, Bash. I'm sorry, bro. And then, all right, it's that was a fun one. And then, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, what would you do if fear was not a factor and you could not fail? So something that you're scared of, but. You're not scared anymore, and you could not fail, and that that was your fear. Oh, that's a good question. Yeah. Um. Oh, you know what I would do? I would do like those little, uh, you know, them little hang gliding shits, where oh, it's like paragliders? a like yeah, with the body suits. Yeah. I think I'll do gliding, that. Yeah. I'll do that, or I would do um. Okay, I won't fail. Does robbing a bank count? That's evil. That's what you fail. That's I mean, fear. Yeah, sure. Fear wasn't a factor, and you could not fail. And I wouldn't be able to fail. Okay, robbing a bank would be one. <laughs> Damn, that's kind of crazy. I don't like Shit thinking like dirt, <laughs> that's some evil shit. But like, my first thing was like doing some crazy. I still like jumping off like the Empire State Building. I don't know why that just like <laughs> that just came to my mind. But no, nah, I think I would robbing a bank is a good one. Mm-hmm. If I'm not afraid, I will not fail that shit. So yeah. I mean, I won't get caught. Yeah. Or oh, what's one? What is one? There's like a good one in my head. I can't even think about it. What do you, What do you think you would do? Go to an amusement park, and I actually go on the rides for once. No fucking <laughs> way! No way, bro. Yeah. Are you serious, That's bro? A, I haven't been able to enjoy any amusement park ever because I don't like the rides. <laughs> but now I'm not scared anymore. I can't. I can't die. Yo, so you, honestly, you can't even enjoy them shits. <laughs> That's just not as fun as it looks, bro. <laughs> bro, no, it's not, bro. Jay, used to, Jay be forcing me to go on. No, she don't be forcing me, but she be testing my gangster. <laughs> she be testing it. She be like, she be like, she be all sad and shit. I'm like, all right, bro, I can't be no bitch. Like, oh my god, came the car, bro. That shit, th- never I, my life, bro. I never my life. No, I don't mm. know why people find amusement and shit like that. That shit's not amusement. That shit's scary. Cause it's tall, bro. You ever? There's a. There's a. There's some sh- the shit on King the Car called Kilimanjaro. Mount Kilimanjaro is Kil- insane, bro. I sh- nah. I've never been that high in my life. No, nah, I could never. I swear to God, bro. I seen the the next two towns <laughs> over, bro. Like you, you know, El Toro is right next to yeah. it. We was double the height of El Toro. That's insane. Bro. I was you like, fall nah, bro. Down, bro. That's just nuts. I like, I'd cry. I I, I think I like genuinely have a heart attack. <laughs> bro, I thought I was gonna like every time and like when I be going on roller coasters, I be like having like the feeling I have to use the bathroom. But yeah. I think that's just because I'm nervous. Mm-hmm. And it pisses me off, but nah. Do you, do you serious roller coasters? Yeah. I mean, well, okay. Let me let me think. I mean, that's a good. I mean, what else you, do I fear? I don't really fear shit like that. Um, I'll go into space. Maybe, maybe. I will go into space. Nah, I'd say music works. All my fears are just dumb as fuck. Like <laughs> animatronics underwater, <laughs> the fucking stop making the phobia, and then roller coasters. You know, but. Nah, you ain't missing nothing with roller coasters, bro. Freaking Nitro makes you feel like you about to fall out that shit, bro. Bro, that shit. So I thought I would never be able, never go on King to Car in my life, bro. I, 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 I still to this day would never. I'm not going on it now, bro. Out of respect to them guys that died in the amusement park, right? I'm, I'm retired. Yeah. You never heard about that that one big dude that fell off? You know the little shit that it brings you up and drops you. Yeah. Like at the like at the, like the Jersey, New Jersey State Fair and shit like really? that. So there was a guy. There was a kid. He was like 14, but he was pretty big. And it was, I think it was like either this summer or last summer. And he went on the ride and the guys didn't strap him in. So he went up and then on the way down, he fell out and then he died. Mm-mm. Out of respect to that brother, I will not, I cannot go on the amusement rides no more. JB mm-hmm. trying to get me to go on them little, that catapult shit. <laughs> the slingshot? Know. Yeah, really the slingshot like, shit. Nah, bro. Uh, I'd be, I'd be, I'd, I'd be, cry. I'd be I'd veering cry. away from that shit. Yeah, no, nah, I'd cry. I'd be hope. I'd be praying there's a long line. They'd be getting you on video too. Yes, bro. Nah, yeah. bro. Hell no. I can't, bro. Yeah, I'm sorry. I respect that guy. I can't do it, bro. <laughs> 
I respect that, man. I cannot do it. That shit looks crazy, nah, bro. It's nuts. I'm like, like no. literally insane. I don't know. Like, there's no amusement. That's not fun. No, I don't think so. I don't think it's fun. I get scared. I'll be saying things I don't mean, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, nah, bro. Yeah. But, oh. All right. So, the one, all right. This is one thing that I've seen recently this week that's kind of nuts. Mm-hmm. And I didn't think this was a thing, right? Okay. So, have you heard of the Black Knight satellite theory? No. So, this is a theory of. A object that's in space that you can see it right now, like okay. it's an object in space that orbits around our planet, but we don't know what it is. Like we have no clue what it is, right? So let me let me tell you what happened. So back in nineteen in eighteen ninety nine, Nikola Tesla was the first person, yes sir, to find it. Find Dope. it, right? You know what I'm saying? He was the first person to discover it. But in nineteen fifty, NASA and Russia were the people that seen it, but they thought it was like. That they kind of they say that's the reason like we they started like the the space wars because Russia thought it was us America thought it was Russia mm-hmm. but like we never they seen it in the sky but we never had that was before we ever had satellites so it wasn't none of ours so we were so confused and then and then in 1970 that's when NASA actually went up there to go take pictures of it and it's like a long black metallic looking thing and it's like they they just pronounced it as like sh- scrap metal. But like, but like, yeah, how is it? I'm curious to see what it looks like. Yeah, yeah look, it looks like a big rock. But like, how is it scrap metal from us if we never made a satellite before we seen that? Before seeing that, and a lot of people said that like, in the fifties, they oh shit, my bad. In the fifties, right? They said they seen, they seen it like change its tra- trajectory around the Earth. Like it went from a, it went from like orbiting the Earth like this to like going like like vertically. So it moves in different ways, and it said they decoded like a, a signal from it in like the fifties, and it said I don't know what it said. It was some crazy shit, and then a lot of people, a lot of people think like you know the little conspiracy theories. They think that it's um, it's either a sentient being that just watches over our Earth, or it's being controlled by another alien race that's far within the galaxies, just watching us. Yeah, that don't, that don't look like scrap metal. That's man. what I'm saying. It don't look like scrap metal. That looks metal. like it has a real like a, a design, a real design to it, and it 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 does. It's not like it's just ro- it's just roaming around space. It's literally on its own axe. It's literally no, just moving is, on its own. This is weird. And it's like you could like there's like na- there's NASA like documents like talking about this thing, yeah. and like you could like go and see it for yourself if you had a telescope. Really? Yeah, like you could actually see it. I'm scared he's a telescope, bro. I don't I don't want to see that shit. I know. I don't want. I don't want to <laughs> see. I want to see something. I don't want. I, I wasn't meant to see. But it's like, like people, okay, people don't believe in aliens, but it's like, what do you say? Like, how do you explain that? Literally something that changes its own orbit around us. It goes yeah, like no. this, and then it goes like this. Because not even the planets can change their orbit. That's so what I'm saying. Not even the moon deliberately does changing its orbit within the gravitational pull of the Earth is insane. That's what I'm saying. And it has, and you're, telling, you're telling us that it hasn't been sucked down yet, Paul. It hasn't been like, <laughs> the gravi- our gravity hasn't yeah. like pushed it towards Earth. It's literally just like, like watching us, basically. No, it's kind of insane. So maybe that's like a surveillance camera from the aliens just freaking like watching us or some shit what, like that. How how long ago is this? They they think this th- this thing has been here for almost 13,000 years. <laughs> because that's insane. But Nikola Tesla was the first one in the 1800s. Nikola Tesla's the goat. So that feel I feel like that something something like that should be taught to people because it's like people don't they still I feel like people are still in this little bubble. Thinking that we're the only. What I don't understand is that people, and I don't want to insult religion, folks. But let's talk a little bit. Yeah, you will leave in some fucker that turned water into wine, barbed wire in his head, yada yada, so forth. And then disrespect to your king or whatever. But you can't believe in a fucking guy in a spaceship out in the in space when this universe is infinite. But you'll believe on a fucking. Dude with red horns fucking eating children or something? That's what I'm saying. Like, wh- where where do your beliefs lie, buddy? That's what I'm saying. They, like, like of course, we're not res- we're not disrespecting nothing. No, we're just I'm saying not, that. We're just like, saying our opinion. It's like, if you can't look outside the bubble that they created, it's like, you can't really, they really, you really can't fathom that yeah, we're the only people here. I'm saying, like... Yeah, if, even if you do believe, believe in whatever you believe in, you're saying you're God or whatever. If he made everything, then who's to say he didn't make something outside of this earth? That's what I'm saying. That's true. Why that, is there other planets? That's Why what, is there an infinite universe and galaxy? Exactly. Like, does that does that 
logic deal with like everything else outside of Earth, I, or was I, it just I, Earth? I gotta talk to someone religious. That's what I gotta do. That's a good I don't, question. I don't get it. So does does the book only portray everything on Earth? Like, did God make every life on Earth, or did He make everything? I feel like it's. I've heard people say He's made everything on the planet, or not like everything. Period, and yeah. everything on the planet. So that's, I I gotta ask somebody who's actually religious. I don't know anybody. Like yeah, that, me neither. But, but that, that's what I'm saying. I like UJ. UJ likes to be intelligent. Yeah, Maybe I'll ask him. <laughs> but it's just. Like this should be proof that there is alien somewhere. Yeah, no, that's especially insane. if it's right. If Na- first of all, NASA has confirmed it. It's you can see it in space if you really have a telescope for it. Yeah, and there's like no real evidence of what it could possibly be. Like they just said it's scrap metal just because they don't know what it is. Like at, at the yeah, end, and if Nikola Tesla found it back in eighteen hundreds, dude, we weren't sending anything in space. Exactly. No one really Nobody was. was so how the fuck? Is it just there? That's what I'm saying. And even in the 50s, we never had no satellites back then. Yeah, no. Like, we, we didn't even know what a satellite was to yeah. begin with. So it's like, damn, bro. Y'all just got to think. There's definitely people, there's definitely life other than us, bro. 100%. Like, this one guy said that the universe is so big that there could be somebody just like you in another universe or in somewhere out in the universe. Somebody's just like you, but just doing something different right now. Like, instead of you just sitting there, you're just, like, tapping your legs. Just something that's yeah. infinite, bro. Like, anything is possible. I hate the theory that, like, there's an infinite amount of universes, but technically there's a universe inside the top of this. Or oh, yeah, yeah, I know on what you the mean. top of the water bottle cap. I mm-hmm. hate the thought of that. I hate being in such a speck it's, inside of another thing, inside of another thing, inside of another Because that should really, that's crazy. Because it's possible. Yeah. Like, like, Horton Hears a Who, like the fucking, yeah. like the Grinch and shit like that, yeah. how the Grinch was on a snowflake, yeah. Horton Hears a Who was in that's the little flower. It could that, happen. That theory is literally, I hate it. It makes you feel so uncomfortable. That's, nah, me too. I'd be thinking about it, because I think about the universe, right? I think about the galaxies, and like, just keep, I just keep going out, keep going out, yeah. like, past the Milky Way, past the thing, and just imagine you just keep, you just see like a whole bunch of galaxies, and then it's just on a bottle cap. It's possible. It's like you never on some know. kid in school's bottle cap. On co- and then the same thing like us, bro. It yeah. just keeps going, keeps yeah. going, and we will never know. And that's how small we are, bro. Yeah, insignificant. That's how I also be thinking we in the simulation sometimes too, because yeah. that's that's freaking nuts that that's a possibility. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. That shit really creeps me out, bro. Yeah, that creeps me out. But I, I got another question, right? So you're go- you're going to die in 24 hours, right? Okay. But you can choose to do one of these tasks. To increase your lifespan, which one are you doing? So for one push-up equals 30 minutes of life. No, I'm chilling. One mile equals one day of life. Easy. Every broken every broken bone that you get gets you a month of life. Or every boat every bone you break of someone else gets you one year extra life. Which one will you choose? I can only choose one. You can only choose one. So I think personally and i could just reuse these as much as i want yeah you could spam it i gotta go oof, i mean the first two are cheesable as fuck and that's what i'm saying but i think the best one is the mile runner you gotta run a mile yeah all you have to just stay in shape run a mile a day or three miles a day if you really want three miles a day that's three extra days of life yeah just chilling every day mm, i think it. i think i'll do a if i do okay if i do a push-up right yeah. So one push up is thirty minutes. Yeah. Two is an hour. Mm-hmm. So that so means I'll need forty eight push ups to yeah, do a whole day. Push ups a day. That's not bad. I'd rather do the push ups. I can run a mile. You can run a mile. Yeah, I ran three miles. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, I could run a miles too, but like, ugh, I feel like just imagine one day you forget to run. <laughs> like, like just one random day, you just like, like. I don't think I'd ever stop at a mile. I think <clears throat> there'd be a day I'd just commit and just run crazy. Oh, because why not? What if the, what if you can't what if you like can't track it, <laughs> like like what if like you don't know how many you have left but you have but you have to track it yourself. That's crazy. That's I'd be fucked. Like imagine, <laughs> I'd be, be so fucked. paranoid. I'd be bro. so fucked. Like, I'd be I'm, running every five seconds. <laughs> like wait, how how long did I run again? <laughs> like like say like you have twenty four hours to live right, yeah. and then you run a so you run a mile and so I have an extra <clears> day. <throat> yeah, but then you lose track. Of how many you have left. So you, instead of like, you're like, damn, like, did I run my miles? Like, how many do, like, what if I just died, drop dead right yeah, now? Yeah, just have to do 12 miles. Like, ah, oh. I think, I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a push up and I'm just gonna spam the push ups. Yeah, that's not bad though. That's really not I bad. I think I, I think I can spam the push ups. At least I could do, fi- I could do, fi- I could do 50 push ups. Yeah. 50 push ups, that'll give me about a day. That's about a day. If I do, I'll do 50 push ups every two hours, I'll give me a week. Damn, I gotta live my life. What, is there ever a way you would try to break somebody's bone for a year? That's exactly what I was thinking at first. I was like, who and why and how accessible could I break somebody's bone? 
And I just can't. I don't think unless I go out and buy animals and snap them in half. <laughs> like, unless we're talking about people, I, I don't think it's possible. Oh my god, that's kind of evil. Snapping animals in half. Yeah, just like buy hamsters and snap them. Oh, poor hamsters. If we had to bro. think about breaking bones, I can't terrible, do- but my life is on the line. <laughs> so. Oh my god, I can't even do that yeah, shit. Yeah, no, I don't think I could either. But uh, like, <laughs> oh, fuck, bro. You got to live. Okay? Yeah, you got you to gotta do what you can to survive, people. got to do what you can to survive. But I think I'll do the push ups, though. And I think I'd run the mile. You run the mile? Because I feel like only reason I run the mile is because it's a safer comfort of time. As to where push-ups is only 30 minutes, I don't know, I'd just be stressing about the 30. And then you'll get, like, lose track? You can do it so much more faster, but yeah, like, running 30 minutes versus just one day. One yeah. day. It's a little bit easier. But I get I you. Know. I get you. Yeah. But, all right, so I got another question, right? So mm-hmm. can we survive the world if we turn into these kind of animals, but we have our own knowledge of ourselves, mm-hmm. but we're just these animals? So the first animal is a deer. Do you think you could survive if you turn into a deer right now? Do I have the knowledge of me or a deer? You, but like you have the instincts of a deer, so you you want to eat grass, you want to shit like that. The but problem you, is these dumb motherfuckers will get in front of a car and go. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm, I'm fucked. Um, I think I personally, me, I think I could survive because I would know not to go on the street or like yeah, look both ways. That's an instinct, bro. It's got to be because what are they doing? Bro? They just be doing it. <sighs> I'm just gonna be afraid of the shit that's hunting me down. Oh, people. Like either people, a lot. people, or freaking um animals like a wolf like a pack of wolves like imagine you just turn to a deer you're in the woods i'd say that's where i'll fall i could live two weeks two weeks yeah i think i could go i think i could go a decent amount but i think unless unless i don't get snuck up on when i'm sleeping i think i will be able to do i think i could get a year out of that nigga i'd just be so bothered bro bugs crawling on me but you a deer still i'm cold (laughs) <laughs> you still a deer though yeah. Alright The next one is a chicken I'm not gonna lie I don't think it's, I don't think we can survive that shit Fuck no There's no way we can survive Done up. chicken. I'm so done up With the amount of people That eat chickens <laughs> Oh done up bro We're done We're getting slaughtered Second day up Unless Unless you live in a, Unless you live in another In another country Like on the islands Where the chickens roam free Yeah if we're free bird chickens oh, we, I could live until However the average lifespan Now if we're in America We're fucked I know that's true. Done. Even though, like, you might get attacked by a cat. True. That Yo, is true. I think I would probably live. No, I don't think I'm living. I don't no. think I can live a. I don't I'd think I can live a normal life. No, I can't live a straight. Like, I can't live till I die, like an old age. Now. No, I know. How about a raccoon? Honestly, I feel like they live pretty long. That's what I'm saying. I feel like we could chill. But now you have to eat garbage your whole life. What's what's the difference? That's what I'm saying. Right? I'm, I'm not really in anything better right now, you know. <laughs> I think I could. I think I could live a comfortable life as a raccoon. Yeah, I could be chilling. Honestly, I wouldn't mind. I think, but I just gotta stay away from the streets. Stay away from the highways. Yeah. I could just eat off. People of people's stay away food. from us though, because we have ra- like stereotype of rabies, so yeah. they wouldn't even want to fuck with me. I'm chilling. That's true. That's you ever, true. You ever see that video? Of the dude hitting the broom on with the the, the raccoon with the broom. No. <laughs> so I think the ra- like I, said, I think he had like his trash like on his porch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he goes get the fuck out of here and he hits the raccoon but like it misses and the raccoon runs off and then all of a sudden the dude the raccoon just runs back and he smacks the living fuck out of it like <laughs> bro i wish i could show you the video but it's insane like he nails it on the head really yes bro. bro that's bad funny son yo my freaking uncle when i was in when i was a kid he had a i think it was either a raccoon or a possum he had that shit he trapped it in a garbage can and he spray he pa- uh spray painted it black or pink <laughs> And that nigga died like instantly, cause I think he sprayed it, like in his mouth and like got like t- he couldn't breathe no more. I'm like, wait, why are you doing that? Niggas are sick. Like I think he got, I think he was drunk and he had like pink spray paint and just start spraying it. Niggas are sick. And he couldn't leave because he was in the in the trash can, so he couldn't even crawl out. That's a terrible way to die. I know, bro. right? Just getting tired. That's terrible. Oh. You, got, you got gassed, bro. He literally- <laughs> niggas yeah. got gassed, bro. All right, how about a seal? They could be they being fucked up. They apparently, be, bro, I'm not gonna lie. If I get caught like on like an ice shelf with the with the with the killer whales, yeah, bro, I heard they be getting fucked by polar bears, whales, fucking anything in that sea. That's what I'm saying. I don't know, bro. I don't think I can live. And seals look like. Oh. And you ever seen you ever seen that video where it's like a polar bear? Like there's like a cliff, and there was like a polar. There was like a bunch of like I don't think it was seal. I think they were walruses, mm. and they was jumping off the cliff. 
because really? there was a there was a polar bear chasing after, and there was like a group of walruses on the cliff, and they was just like jumping <laughs> to their death. Like you just see a walrus just like go like this, limp, <laughs> and just like hitting hella rocks, <laughs> bro. Wait, that is insane. That's an insane choice of life. That's what bro. I'm saying. They said either we're gonna gonna die or just get eaten, but it's like one polar bear. <laughs> at least one of them could run past. That's, like, like, that's what I'm saying. But it's like at least like there was like 50 of them. They just they all just decided <laughs> to jump off. Like and like the polar bears was like, all right. They he just said, went. He said, "Damn, good eat." <laughs> they just climbed down and just ate the, the, the dead bodies. Damn. But nah, seals. Like imagine you get trapped on like an ice shelf and like you, like you ever seen the killer whales like tactics what they do. Yeah. Imagine that shit, bro. Yeah, no, they're fucked. just, they're just playing with your life. Yeah, no, killer bears <laughs> are crazy. No, I feel like we're fucked if we're seals. I don't think I can live. They I don't think I can live a normal life. Bad out there. <sighs> nah, I think I don't think I'm good. I'm good off that. How about a goldfish? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck do they do, bro? Think about it. Why do they exist? Um, who's my owner? You could be. You could have an owner. Anybody in union, I'm fucked. I had my goldfish for like three years. That's not long enough. You. you that's you a lot. That's long a, with it. That's a good lifespan for a goldfish. You get from pe- from uh, the pet store for a dollar. Oh three, my god. <laughs> three. It, that nigga survived three heart attacks. I was just thinking, and I can't remember who told me this story. But there's someone that I know, and I cannot remember who it is right now. I wish I could expose them. They told me that as a kid, they took their goldfish out the bowl and started brushing it. And it dropped it and it died. (laughs) Wait, brushing the goldfish? Like with like a hairbrush? Yeah, so not only was it suffocating, it was getting (laughs) That shit was getting like its scales ripped off? Yeah. Oh my God. And then died, yeah. That's a terrible... Yeah, my dad killed... One of my fishes because he put the fish in like the the water was too cold, <laughs> so like the nigga like died instantly. <laughs> <laughs> I felt so bad. Like he threw like we was just cleaning out the cage, but like the tank. But you're supposed to put like lukewarm yeah. water, and he dropped in. And he just like like froze <laughs> like instantly. But nah, I think a goldfish. I think I could live. I it really depends on the owner. You think so? <laughs> yeah. Because I think about it, are there goldfish in the wild? There is, but uh problem with goldfish in the wild is that goldfish will grow to the size of their environment. So if you leave them in the ocean, they will grow really fucking big. Are yeah, you let serious? Show you, let, me you, let me show you like a really, really big goldfish. Like like a size of like a dog? Very massive, yeah. Wait. Are you so if I so does that mean if I put a goldfish in a bigger tank, it will get bigger? Yes. What the fuck? I didn't know that. It, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's um goldfish, yeah. See? Look at look <laughs> you're really not about to believe this. Look at this thing. That's a goldfish? Yeah, Why is that shit so big? Because like, it's seven pounds because it, it was put in a, like, a lake. Are you? Wow. Yo, yeah. now nah, I'm not going to lie. If I ever see that shit, will freak me the fuck out. Yeah, they, they grow to the size of their environment. Yo, that shit was like, imagine you swimming in a lake if you see a giant goldfish. Yeah, I'd kill myself. Like, I'm fuck. Nah, I'm not going to lie. I'd be so fucking scared. Okay, 67 pounds is insane. A 67 pound goldfish? Yeah. All right, if I'm that goldfish, I'm living good. <laughs> I'm, 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 but if I'm like in the in a tank or like they yeah. use me for food, yeah, because a lot of them use the food for like catfishes and like the little eels that they have. Yeah, I think <sighs> that's tough. I feel like I'll have a better life than a seal. I think I'll. Nah, I'm, okay, nah. I think I'm gonna die. I don't think I can survive that <laughs> shit. I don't think I don't think so. I think that'd be fucked. Niggas don't care about goldfish, bro. Nah, they don't really, bro. Niggas, the kids be having that shit in the bag and just go like. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, bro. Terrible, bro. Oh my god, bro. Do you think those goldfish that they sell at the the fair? You think those are real? Like those are like actual like? Probably. Then the fair people don't give a shit about them. Problem is, is a lot of people don't know about the whole beta fish thing. That beta fish hate to be with each other or hate other fish. Yeah. So they'll put beta fish in a tank, come back to the tank, and every other thing will be fucking slayed because beta really? fish just fight. What kind of like what does it look like? It looks like a goldfish or it looks like no, a- it's like it's like a blue and red fish. It's very pretty. You've definitely seen them in stores before because beta fish are like five bucks, hella cheap. Beta so fish. if you put them in a tank full, like they'll just kill everybody. They'll try and fight every fish in there for the what most the part. Hell? Yeah, these are beta fish. Oh, I've seen those before. They'll fight the fuck out of each other and kill each other. Even its own kind, or yeah, it just wants what the hell? I don't know what's wrong with beta fish. Bro. Type of evil fish. Yeah, they mean shit. All right, <laughs> but the last one is a hyena. I'm chilling, honestly. They roll in packs, bro. They're straight chilling. Bro, let me let me tell you why I don't know if I could. Why? Because I've learned some shit. A hyenas are a female-based pack. So if there's a male, a lot of times the male will get kicked out of the pack. You dead ass? Yes. Like, at birth, like, 
like if like say you birth like a male, like the 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 sisters would like mess with it and will like kick it out the pack. And now he's like <laughs> now he's like roaming around. Now he has to find a new pack. And when he finds a new pack, it's like mostly like female dominated. So yeah. now he's like the the runt of the litter. He gets all the scraps and shit like that. He can't get no Uchi because he's a he's a fucking nigga. And it's just like they're just getting shunned. I seen that shit. It said I seen it on TikTok. It's like the worst animal to be is a hyena. Damn, that's so mad. I didn't even know that, bro. Like, just a bad, bro. Like you just get shut. Like you just get kicked out of society being born for man. being a man. I'm just getting shit on. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I could. I think I would rather be a hyena than. I think I could survive, live a good life. Yeah. As long as nobody kills me. I mean, if you live in Africa, a lot, every anything could kill you. Yeah. Pretty so, much, but hyenas are for the most part chilling. You're chilling. Yeah, except for their own kind, apparently. But yeah. for the most part, nothing really haunts hyenas. Oh, like, that's good. That's, but like when I not for real, when I heard that shit, I'm like, yo, that's really nuts. Nah, oh, that's terrible. That's tragic as shit for no reason either. Like just because he's a boy. Yeah. Like there, there was a lot more shit, but I just couldn't remember what else he said, bro. It was some Mac shit, bro. But now nah, I gotta. You got anything else you want to talk about before I? Or you use the ball? Yeah, nah, I use the ball. Yeah. All right, I got another question, bro. Mm-hmm. So would you accept fifty million dollars? But every year, once a year on your birthday. You must fight a full-grown tiger mm. with a non-fired arm weapon. So you can pick a sword, you can pick a stick, a bow staff, nunchucks, knives. It just can't be a firearm. But yeah, just give me a full-grown tiger. Now hear me out. <laughs> I need a pole vault with a flame at the end of it. Okay, what are you gonna do with that? Light him on fire. Okay, wait. <laughs> what if you miss? I won't. You, I'll be practicing year round with my fifty mil. Oh, you're gonna be practicing? Yeah. So like, but every year for the rest of your life, that that tiger gonna kill you one year. Mm. I don't know if that's worth it. Fifty billion dollars. I don't think that's worth it. <laughs> you're you're allowing me too much space to cheese. I could just isolate myself on top of a box and just throw knives at it if I want. You know, it's just what's the what's the arena status? You just it's just gonna appear. Ready to ready to kill you, but it's, you know it's on your birthday. Oh, then I'm fucking bing chilling. This thing's fucked. This is fucked. Yeah, it's <laughs> you fucked. Gonna, you gonna kill it, bro? I just hire somebody else to shoot it. No, <laughs> bro, on, bro, you have to fight it. Okay, then I'm chucking things at it. Like what? From, from an ivory tower, lighting it on fire every single time. <laughs> every <laughs> time. All right, what if you're like? How long you think you'll last? What if you're like sixty? Same thing. It's running the same. <laughs> I might literally rent out a tra- like buy a house. Turn on the stove and oven, wait on my birthday, walk into the house, wait for the lion to come in or tiger or whatever, walk out, blow up the house every day. <laughs> every single every single birthday. Yo, what if like what if like clock strikes twelve on your birthday, you're in your bed, you walk to use the bathroom, tiger right there. <laughs> like what the fuck are you gonna do? Like it's like I'm prepped, bro. You cannot catch me. <laughs> so you ready thing. to go? Yeah. Oh my god. I don't know if I could do that for fifty mil, bro. I might need more bread. Fifty mil's amazing. It's amazing. I might need more than that, bro. That's my life. Yeah, but you can one do one false move, you fuck around, die, bro. I seen, I heard a tiger could like withstand like bullets. Yeah. <clears throat> so Some like, can, yeah. so you gonna throw that knife? When you get older, you're not gonna be able to throw that knife pretty far, hard, my nigga. So I start blowing it up. <laughs> like, you you gonna, gonna fire. Yeah. <laughs> we could just go and set booby traps. Yeah. That's like a- Home Alone type shit. Yeah. Every single time my birthday, so I can never be caught lacking. All right, all right. Now that you think about, it, now I'm thinking about it. No, I don't know. I don't know, bro. But. Maybe I could set up a bear trap. What if you evade You think a shit? bear trap alone is enough? No. I, I was thinking like five. Because I think you could evade the bear trap. <clears throat> um, no, I feel like they're, they're kind of smart, aren't they? Wouldn't they like see it and like just avoid it? That's what I'm saying. I don't know. They might. Like You might have to have some good booby traps, bro. Yeah. <sighs> I'm... Slide on fire. Just light on fire. Yeah. I might use a chat. I might use a tactics. I might use a tactic. <laughs> All right. The- last thing, bro. So last thing of the pod, bro. Mm-hmm. I got a. I got a test for you. Yep. It is the good boyfriend test. What would you do in these situations for your girl? Hmm. As you know, we both have girls, right? Hmm. So like that. Yeah. So I have these certain scenarios, and I want to know what you would do in these scenarios. Okay. To protect her. Okay. All right. So. What are you doing if someone takes your girl's purse and that person is taller than you by four inches and he has 100 pounds on you? Someone stop this man. (laughs) (laughs) 
No, I try. I try. <laughs> I would try. Now, if I get my ass beat, I'm sorry. The purse is gone. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I think I'll, I'll, I'll obviously I'll run. I'll try and stop him. But really, if, dude, if he's like LeBron James, <laughs> like, all right, you got it. Like, I, <laughs> I think my first reaction, and like he's running, I'm gonna run after him, like try yeah, to tackle no, him. Absolutely. That's yeah. my first reaction. But I also might get my ass beat, mm-hmm. especially if he's like way taller than me and he got 100 pounds on me. Mm-hmm. He might beat my fucking ass. But you know, I'm gonna try though. But that, you're saying you will try though. I would definitely try 100. percent Okay. Without okay. Doubt my mind. <laughs> but I'm, I'm I'm gonna get like let's say I do something, I get him to the ground. Pray to God she grabs the person dips. I'll just get my ass beat real fast and like, ask for help. <laughs> all right, <laughs> <You know>? all right, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So so say we're at a you're at a sporting event, right? Mm-hmm. Your girl's cheering on one team. A rival fan comes to your girl. They start arguing. It's done. But Wait, now, but before you even say anything, he's getting rocked. Okay, I don't okay, like okay, I, don't, okay. I fucking hate it, dude. I hate it more than fucking anything. Okay, okay. People are so fucking weird. Go ahead though. So. He's arguing with your girl. You guys are leaving, and he calls your girl a bitch. He's already got rocked. Nah, before. I think uh, well I'm not gonna lie. Then. I would never. I never been in some situation like that before. But I think I would like kind of. I feel like I would black out. No, nah, I'd already be mad the minute he's sitting over here talking shit to my girl. Yeah, done, done. I think I niggas. My girl's already on the opposite side of the room. I'm, I'm talking to him. You talking? We're <laughs> arguing now. What <laughs> are you arguing with her for? All right. Now the the last question. So you 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 you're in the car with your girl, but you're in the passenger seat. <laughs> You pull up to a red light. I wish, honestly. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Your girl's driving. Pull up at a red light. Or you pull up in a... Yeah, you pull up in a... You're in a car, right? Some guy pulls up right next to you. He tries to holler at your girl. And you're like, nah, she's, yeah, she's taking. She's my girl. He's like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, man. <laughs> That's a... <laughs> That's fucking insane, right? I want to get out the car, but... Realistically, at that point, I'm I'm I can't be invested. In that. Like, what am I gonna do, bro? That's like like me thinking about it right now. Like, I'm mad as shit. Oh no, I'm mad as fuck. I feel like nigga just bitched the shit out of me. That I just could... got bitched without that, that. But as long as my girl gives me validation, I'd be happy. As long as she's like, <laughs> "Fuck you, nigga," I'd be like, "Yep." Uh, you know, uh, like, if she says nothing, I'm I'm, I'm now I'm really mad. <laughs> now I'm really upset. Like she's just like taking it, just like yeah. laughing. Yeah. Oh nah. See, like because like just being in the car just makes it worse. Yeah, no, Cause it's now, terrible because you're locked in the car. Because if you get out the car, now you're stopping traffic. Everybody <laughs> seeing you do this shit. But like, nah. Like, oh my god, that's terrible. Yeah, like, no. imagine you just. He's like, yo, I don't give a fuck. He's like, yo, shot is like that. Nah, I think I might, I might be screaming at him, like throwing a hella, throwing a hella franks like SMDs at him. Like, yeah, that's, yeah, the, that's, that's the, my dick. <laughs> I, I think that's the best thing I could that's possibly the best do. Thing to say. Maybe if I have something, I might throw some shit. But like, yeah. one thing is, <laughs> yeah, but you can't get out of the car. Nah, I don't think you could get out the car at that moment, especially like holding up traffic. Yeah, it's nuts. <laughs> it's nuts. And then even if you want to do something, bro. He technically didn't do anything wrong. You'll get charged with assault. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's that's <laughs> that's crazy, bro. That's horrible. Like, oh my god, bro. That'd be so fucking. Mad, I'd be, though. oh, I'd be, bro. I remember I went to me and Jay went to um. You ever been to Garden State Plaza? No. It's in uh Paramus. I think it's like one of the biz- biggest malls in Jersey, mm. bro. That mall is freaking ghetto, bro. Really? But I mean, it's like like one half of the mall is ghetto. The other half is pretty quiet because it's so big. But it's like, just imagine if like, like there was like a, a high school field trip bus that drops them off right in front of the mall. <laughs> Bro, we was in the food court and I'm telling you, there was at least like, like, like you would feel uncomfortable. There was so many like high school kids, young kids, like groups. It felt like high school all over again. And I'm like, I'm so uncomfortable. Like these, like there's like these little, these niggas over here. I'm like, yo, if, I'm like, I'm in my mind. I'm like, think I'd be thinking of situations, bro. Like, no, I'm course. like, what if, what if some nigga just says something to Jay? They says some shit. And then yeah. I say something and he don't give a fuck. Yeah. I'm like, oh, now I'm going to have to yeah, I'm fight, not, high schoolers. <laughs> fight high schoolers. Oh my God. And there's like 20 of these niggas. What do you like? What would you do in that situation? There's 20 <sighs> niggas. And I'm by myself. <laughs> yes. I feel like, and I realistically mean this. I don't think my pride would let me get away with walking away from them. Oh my god! I don't bro. think I. I don't give a fuck if there's twenty of them. I know I'd lose because the numbers are crazy. But you just gotta try. You niggas should all suck my dick. You know nothing. <laughs> like you guys know nothing. There's no way you're talking to me like that. All I, I fuck. All I know is what I heard. When you get people, if you ever get jumped, bro, you gotta grab one guy and beat him up so bad that they all stop. Let me get naked. What? <laughs> you, you gotta, they won't want to touch me no more. <laughs> when you go strip, that's your. Yeah. Fr- 
<laughs> so beat my ass and get naked. Like, all right, boys, watch. <laughs> wait, 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 naked. wait. How are you gonna do that? Well, they beat my ass. I simply just undressed myself. <laughs> what are they gonna do? Would you? Would you continue to jump somebody that was getting naked? No. Exactly. But like, chilling. Why is that your first instinct? <laughs> like you, nah, there's no way you do that. You're desperate. <laughs> I don't want to get beat up anymore. So he's just like, fuck it. You just start taking your clothes like aggressively? Yeah. <laughs> and then anybody in the area would be like, oh my God, they're trying to rape him. And then I'll, I'll get helped. <laughs> I'll be helped. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. It's kind of tough. It's kind of yeah. tough. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, bro. You, you got anything to talk about, bro, before I yeah, <laughs> bro? That's a good way to end that shit. Nah, <laughs> that's it. I, oh, I want to talk about one more thing, okay. bro. A little update on the little whole Matrix situation, bro. We found our owners. Her yeah, name's actually yeah. Sasha. And she is 13, Sasha. you know what I'm saying? She was supposed to be on the pod, but I, I gave it to gave him gave her back to her owners yesterday. So if you you guys watching this, I doubt you are. Thank you guys. Keep your dog safe, bro. Did you tell him about the podcast? No, I didn't actually. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. But they were, I think he texted me. He's like, he's like, Thank you, you saved her life. I was like, Oh. But like, yo, when I tell you, she like their crib is like I don't know if you know like where Newark is, like the like the Weak Wake Park area. Like yeah. if you go, if you keep going down twenty two, there's like houses like on like a little hill. She li- like they live. I don't know how the hell she got where she was at because it's like so like the park is right here, and then her crib is like over here, mm-hmm. right? So she had to walk down this way, but it's like it was in front of the spot that I found her in. Yeah. So it's either she like walked like around and went like this, or like went this way and like fell. And was trying to get back to where she came back from. Like, because like, it's like a little hill that goes down yeah. there. But, hey, bro. They was talking about, I think she, like, crawled underneath the fence or something like that. Nigga, like, I don't know if you've actually let that dog walk without a leash. So, there's a couple times where I was, it was like, 3 a.m. was like, no one's going to be out. No car's going to be out. I'm curious. If I just let her walk, where the fuck's she going to go? Mm-hmm. So, I let her out my house. And I sat, I, I simply stood there. I said, let me see where this goes. Really? Bitch will walk. She doesn't care. <laughs> she did not give a fuck, bro. Nothing. She w- she looked back. I was like, maybe when she looks back, sees that I'm not moving, she'll go, okay, he's not fucking around. I'll just walk back. She went. I just booked it. I said, okay. Really? You had yeah. to chase her? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wow, you're really about that, huh? Bro, she she an old ass dog, bro. She's, she's really old, yeah. 13. She's deaf. That dog deaf as hell. She can't hear shit. But like, they was telling me like freaking... um. Like she, she's so old, she didn't really do much. But like, I gave her some toys, and it looked like she, she no, yeah, I made her run a little bit. Yeah, yeah, she, like she, she gets runs. Excited, yeah, she gets excited about stuff. She actually barked for the first time. No, I didn't hear shit. I've never heard her. Like, make a noise. I gave her a toy, and like she would like growl, and then she like let off a bark. Really? I was like, what the no, fuck? I didn't hear none of that. Yeah, and this is like the first dog like my mom actually liked. That's a, re- it's a really good dog. She's a she's, gr- she's a really great dog. dog. Don't bark. She. She was, she'll pee in the crib. She, she shit in Jason's crib. But it's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like she didn't pee or piss in my crib. Yeah, no. She she learned really quick yeah. that, you know, go like where to where to go and shit. Yeah. But it's like my mom never liked dogs. Like she was afraid of dogs. Like all my years when I was a kid, I would ask my dad for a dog. I remember we went to like, you know, the little puppy boutiques and shit like that. Yeah. And I was playing with the dog. I was like, yo, can we take her home? She let me play with the dog for like 20, 30 minutes and said, nah, let's leave. <laughs> That's so evil. <laughs> That's so evil, That's bro. Fire, bro. I'm like five. Yeah. I'm out here crying and shit. Man. I think I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this dog, bro. I will never forget that shit, bro. I still remember what time it was like a. I don't know if it was like a dashkin or like a little little pit bull, but it looked like that. Mm-hmm. Like it had low hair. It was like grayish blue. I will never forget that shit, bro. I was so sad. Do bro. you want a dog when you were, like when you in your own apartment? Yeah, I'm definitely, gonna, we def- I'm definitely gonna get a dog. Yeah. I don't know. Well, Jay's probably gonna pick the dog. Jay wants a freaking that them, little, little one. Yeah, them little them little wiener dogs. A little dash kids. Dot, 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 uh, what is it called? Da- uh, I said, da- why are you kicking baby? Cl- it's not, it's a dachshund. Yeah, dachshund. She be, she be calling that shit dashkins. <laughs> they're tough. I won't lie. They're, uh, they're really not- tough, bro. Bro, if you go to Shake Upon, they got so many dogs. It's so nice. I haven't been to Shake Upon years because they're overpriced. Nah, them dogs they're is like expensive. four thousand yeah, dollars. Like damn, but they some cute ass dogs. They're though. very good dogs. Yeah, they got like golden retrievers and that Just shit. Dumb expensive for no reason. They had this one little husky puppy. He was like brown and like like orangey brown and white. This shit was nice. Are they, do they come pre-vaxxed? I think I think they do it themselves because like because I, I, yeah, Shake Apart doesn't because I know like I remember on some of the on some of the the dogs it says uh I think it says I'm going home soon. So I think they're gonna like uh, vaccinate him, give him the shots, and then they're gonna give it to the owner. Like it takes a couple of days for like okay, processing okay, and shit okay. like that. I think. Kind of want a dog. You want another one? 
No, because the whole the whole fucking that's the whole reason I couldn't keep Sasha, which thankfully I didn't because she found her owners. Yeah. Good thing we didn't, right? Oh, we can't afford first of all. Ooh. Wait. <laughs> they watch this podcast. I won't say anything on you guys grandparents, but no, it's a good dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good dog. Yeah. And I know the whole reason you guys couldn't keep it, excuses. You guys have the money. It's not about the money. It was about the message. I know what it was. <laughs> they're, about to, they're about to get that dog up, bro. Dude. <laughs> Dude, I, I I cannot express to you. I was very upset. They kept on like, we're about to take it to the shelter tomorrow. Yo, I got this person that wants to meet. I go, how many times I got to tell you I'm watching the dog. I'm not here to give it away. I'm waiting for him to figure out what he wants to do. And then we go figure it out. That's how I'm saying. Oh, thank and then God, the, bro. Literally, I shit you not. I would say that. Next couple of minutes, she goes, all right, so I looked it up. This shelter needs it. I was like, what do you want about? How many times I got to tell you? Until I, I was like, fuck it. I'll just, I'll just bring it to him, bro. I'm done. Wait, did you tell him that we found the owners? Uh, no. I didn't tell you? I told him I don't want to ever talk about that dog again because I was really upset. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, bro. Yeah. But, nah, bro. She's, she's back with her family and things like that. Good. Maybe this opened up some doors for my for me to have a dog here. Yes, honestly. Bro, my mom was making the dog food. Ooh. Like, she made a, she made her, because, like, she wasn't, like, she was like, oh, she's not even eating the, the dry food. So, I'm yeah. like, what you going to do? She's like, she looked up, she made her ground beef, rice, and peppers. <laughs> I said, Sasha what? Was she good. was eating good. I'm like, damn. I feel bad for her owners because she That's ain't going to eat that food. That's tough. Like, I'm like, she was spoiled over here, bro. Nah, like, <laughs> Sasha was not fucking with the dry food. She wasn't. Mm-mm. She wasn't eating it. Like, nope. I'm like, maybe, maybe they, her owners are giving some good shit. That's what I'm saying, bro. I, I was know. like, you're going to eat the dry food or sorry. <laughs> like, Figure it out. So That's, That's funny as hell, bro. Yeah. Nah, but, oh, man. That was, I, I kind of miss the dog sometimes, bro. I kept yeah. the bed. J- yeah. JB looking at me like, why the fuck you keep that shit? <laughs> I still got mine downstairs too. Oh, uh, see, see, I ain't crazy, Jay. Yeah. But you got anything else to talk about, my brother? No, nah, that's all I got. Thank you again for another course, episode, thank man. You, thank you. Another Appreciate episode, you. yes, sir. Um, thank y'all again for tuning into the new uh, new episode of No Records Podcast, episode number seventy two. You got anything you want to tell them? Um, follow us you know follow him on all social media spotify apple music follow Instagram. Us, if, you, if you think about it he's got it no fucking regulars follow him if you want to follow me obviously blah blah blah, blah. you want to talk to us join the discord um oh i'm a, i'm changing the the uh, new room setup is gonna be here you see i got the little portraits and shit like that i don't know if you peep i got like the little paintings and shit yeah oh yeah yeah oh, i don't know if y'all, y'all can't see that shit back there well, that yeah that shit fire but um, what else? I'm gonna get a new chair in here for when we do triple uh double pods mm-hmm. and shit like that. Uh oh, new merch coming out soon. Hoodies, new zip up hoodies coming out soon. But I'm gonna get them shits made in China. I just gotta wait till the New Year because I think it's a Chinese New Year coming. Yes, sir. It's a Chinese New Year right now, so until the 31st, I gotta wait till then. But um, yeah. Uh, I don't got none of the sponsorships on. I don't know if we're sponsoring anymore. But yeah, <laughs> we sponsoring ourselves. You know what I'm saying? We different. They regular, no regulars, man. Gangsta. I'm gonna go get it. I already gonna get it.